want to change the name. more. <laughs> Did you want to change the name on your thing? It says Bearded Carol. No, I'm good with Bearded Carol. <laughs> okay. You can say Bearded Me. I don't care. <laughs> My... Yeah, we're live, Kyle. Oh, we are live? We are live. Oh, wow. No one said we were live. I was just getting ready here. Oh, God. Car Carol was talking over the producer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really. Carol, you got to stop doing that. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Murder Hobo Incorporated, where we're doing the, uh, uh, the impromptu game, the porn game, the uh, um, D &D you're stuck for in your home, games. and we're forcing you to actually watch this and forcing the people uh, with their lives. We have actual serums of coronavirus that we have set in their loved one's home, and if they didn't show up, we are going to break them. What? What? Huh? Anyway. Huh? Uh, Frank, why don't you do the usual uh, introduction of things where you tell them to watch us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's over to my left. See? An iPhone case. Oh. Uh, you can get a duvet if you want, even. Uh, don't forget, if you want to have a seat, here in place of any one of us, please let us know and we'll try and get your work up. Uh, there's a show on Tuesday. There's a game on Wednesday. Uh, rest is scheduled to be determined. Back to Kyle. Oh, yeah. I am the DM tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm the DM. I'm going to dang people through my dungeon. Yeah. He's going to do this for two hours, folks. <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. Let's go watch Walking Dead. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait for it. Walking Dead might be more interesting at this point. Yeah. All right. So if everybody had read the thing up tonight, we are doing the uh, Murder Hobo Express, the Great Train Robbery. Uh, and tonight we have four four players who are going to be bored out of their minds. Us going around introducing them. Carol, bearded Carol, introduce yourself. Tell us about yourself and your character tonight. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Maybe you I can get this out. Hi, I'm Carol. Whenever you're ready, Carol. The normally talked over. Uh, tonight I will be playing Tilda Redrum, my dwarvish artificer. I've never played an artificer, so we'll see how this goes. And Oh god, it's distracting hearing myself in the background. Uh, my pitch needs to be lower than that. Go ahead, Carol. Or I'm were you done? I'm done. I hear Oh, it. gosh. You know, actually, I'm supposed to be listening to what my players have to say and answering their questions, and that's not getting done tonight, people. So <laughs> why don't we move on to Holly. Holly, why don't you tell us about yourself and your character? Dick? I think you're talking about me. My name is actually Heidi, and I'm playing Orla, and she's a gnome thief and so she's going to be doing all the sneaky stuff tonight riveting just <laughs> fucking riveting thank you Heidi <laughs> Heidi does a much better job when she has a really good DM run in the show <laughs> probably I can imagine that all right Caitlin on down to you uh, we had you on the first time here a couple days ago welcome back who are you playing tonight Tonight, I am going to be a dwarf barbarian called Bavarian La Creme from Bavaria. We also love donuts. First time playing a barbarian. Yes, I'm going to be so messed up saying this. First time playing a barbarian. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll kill lots of people. Maybe not. We'll see. Maybe we're a good one. She didn't read the script it, before. Didn't read the she? script at all. Yeah. Nope. All right. We're on the train. <laughs> Yeah, I mentioned that about a couple <laughs> minutes ago. No, I read <laughs> well, it. Go ahead, Frank. Frank, go ahead. You go. Uh, hi, Maybe I've Frank. become friends. I've become friends with all the people because last time I killed everyone. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <I'm> chaotic. Uh, <laughs> folks, uh, I'm Frank. Uh, normally, I'm the DM. Tonight, I get to play. I get to fill in for uh, somebody who couldn't make it. I am playing Cuddle Paws. I am a Tabaxi Bard. Not only am I a tabaxi, I am a sphinx, which means I don't have any hair anywhere, and I'm wearing chain mail. So you can take that visual to the grave. You also might know me as Katniss Evermean. Uh, we'll see how I do playing a bard. 
Uh, I'm so out of touch with my charismatic side, it's frightening. Back to you, Kyle. Are you at least doing like tapes over the nips so you don't punch them in the chains? I've Every had that other before. one. <laughs> Every other one. Okay. Awesome. And it, it's staggering. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I would hope so. He's got bikini male. Typical. I, I'm a female. I am a female tabaxi. I no, think you play I, a female every single time other than head wound Harry or Larry or Cherry. Yep. Who no, I said might bikini. be transsexual. I don't know, honestly. I said, I said bikini male, not a male character. Oh, yes. Only there's four sets of triangles because I don't want my lady bits hurt. And only two of them have stamps. <laughs> It's a male joke. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the U.S. Postal Office workers are going to bed early because they have to work in the morning. Hey, and producer, can we don't. get uh, Walking Dead on in here in this room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, getting down to business. The Great Train Robbery, the Murder Hobo Express. The I'm going to just read it out because clearly uh, uh, someone didn't actually read the thing, so I'll read it now. The lightning rail has arrived, promising safe expedience and luxurious travel in a matter of hours. Its maiden voyage is happening, and a gentleman would prefer it not go well. Uh, he is paying you guys to make sure that uh, every single person on that train is robbed in some way or another, uh, as well as a few other things. Um, I thought I thought we were sabotaging the train, not rob, just robbing people. I'm robbing that. I shit. mean, if you want to get paid, <laughs> the uh, magic items I handed out earlier was your payment to do it. Any uh, money you make is what you rob from this train or what you take from it. But you are asked to, one, gain images or schematics of the lightning rail engine room and you are supplied with three capture scrolls. I forgot to hand those out because I forgot they were going to be a thing in this game. Uh, a capture scroll is simply a scroll. You hold it up, you press on a little ruin, and it captures Oroids. the image, essentially. Yeah. Oroid. Uh, specifically of the engine car. Uh, second, they want you to steal and destroy all the contents of the uh, baggage car, whether you want to steal some of that stuff or simply throw it off the train is up to you. Uh, they specifically want one train passenger, passenger, passioner? He's a passionate passenger. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Margot LaCroix to disappear forever. And then, of course, robbing the nobles blind so that they never, ever want to ride the train again. Uh, the train is going from Vertwin to New Hall. There is quite a long distance in between. If you guys have a preference on whether you would like to start at the beginning or start at the end, make the choice now. What was the fourth part? Is it, is it make, was it Margot LaCroix? Margot LaCroix needs to. Disappear. What was the fourth thing? Rob the nobles. Make them extremely uncomfortable to ever want to try uh, Stockton Express, who is the person who owns and invented the lightning rail. Is he on this uh, voyage? Well, that will begin here shortly as soon as you figure out whether you want to start at the beginning or the end. It's up to you, or ladies. Roll a D12. <coughs> yeah, oh, all shit. right. I forgot to pull out dice. Hi, he told again why I am the superior DM. <laughs> um, all the obvious reasons. A lot two. of dice. A lot of dice. You are going to start at Vertwin, the beginning of where the train starts. And from at this point, I'm going to have you ask questions. I'm going to answer them as best as I can. If it's something that we can do with a roll of a dice or a skill check, we'll do that. If it's something that may be a little bit interesting, we will go delve into it deeper with role play. Uh, essentially, every question you ask is going to cost an amount of time, and you have a 10-day. Um, for the younger players, Caitlin, <laughs> that's 10 days. 
that's how many fingers you got, I hope. <laughs> yep, that's about right, guys. And Two. so at this point, go ahead. Uh, where I have to get dice ready. We have to ask questions. We're not just going to break in and... I'll go first. How long does <laughs> this trip take? Ten days? Uh, <laughs> the actual train ride or the... The actual train ride for us to get this done. It is going to be ten and a half hours. Got it. The actual, yes, the actual oh, traveling quick. time uh, would be seven days if you're riding on a horse or a mount. Um, and if you were to say take the airship, that's two days. So this is all Eberron. <laughs> Eberron esque. I didn't actually read the books. I'm pulling a Frank. <laughs> um. <laughs> So who are we asking these questions of? This is like players to the GM, or are we actually asking someone these questions in game? This is players to the GM. Um, well, say I'd ask like, where are the where are the schematics located? Schematics are located in the Stock Stockton uh, Managerial Building. Oh, so it's not on the train. So we have to so. So we have to go somewhere else other than the train to get those? Mm -hmm. Is no, that in we use the scroll. You use that the in scroll Burton or New Hall? Take a picture. Right. That is I, actually yeah, in New Hall. But okay, they're in a so. building, they're not on the train. <coughs> is that what you're that's what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. We have to hit a building too. Okay. Mm-hmm. At the yeah. end of the journey. In New well, Hall. Well, you don't have to hit the journey again you can take a picture using the capture scrolls of the inside of the engine car yeah. and from there the employer thinks they can get what they need from that they can reverse engineer for just pictures okay that's fair <clears throat> what does margot lacroix look like margot lacroix is a large goliath wearing teeny <laughs> pince-nez glasses and Why do you we disappeared. That's yes. good. What do you mean by disappeared? He needs to go away. He now, Frank, would you like to do the... You're going to kill well, that fucker. There you go. Okay, there's various ways to make one disappear. No, there's only one. <laughs> this is Murder Hobo Inc. We'll get him, yeah, <laughs> Essentially, ride. he's going to be on the train at the beginning of the ride. And before he gets to the end, he needs to not be on the train and not show up ever again. Do we know how mm. the cars connect? No, you would have to go to the train station, which is under a bit of security at the moment. <laughs> well, if we're riding on it, will we be able to look at it and see how to? You assume you haven't really gotten a close up image of it so far. You've just kind of seen pictures and the angle of the pictures at the moment. Don't really show how they're connected. Got it. Has our employer, <laughs> yeah, has our employer given us money to get tricket, uh, tickets for that? No. <gasps> they don't seem to want you to be connected to it, possibly. You don't know for certain. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't I know mean, what we're going to sneak on. All right. And finally, Bavarian, do you have a question? Because I'm about to end day one. My question was the tickets. Now, how much are the tickets to get on? This is the first train ride. You go spend your day trying to figure that out, and you find out they've been sold out. Hey, we get to rob people. <laughs> yeah. But if you did have the money to buy the tickets, they were 500 gold pieces a piece. Wow. There's some there... rich fuckers on this train, you would assume. <clears throat> train oh. conductors? and people staffing nearby around <laughs> um go ahead and make a charisma how are you going about doing this I guess I'm just seeing are you going to wait a day and see who walks away from the train yard at night follow them and ask them questions or uh, goal is to 
get conductor clothes to get on the train. So do I notice people I could steal clothes from or is there extra clothes laying around? <laughs> Over the course of a matter of days, you could get this done if you roll well enough. All right. I'm going to come back to you about that and you decide whether you want to do that or not. Let's, uh, let's go to the train station and scout it out. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sure. I'm dressed in my finest chainmail bikini. <laughs> it's not and my spurs that jingle are jingle. giving you some interesting looks. You know what? I'm going to act like Flo from Alice. They kiss my grits. <laughs> <laughs> For Caitlin, that is a very old 1970s reference. So okay. Before your parents might have been born. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. You guys end up going over there. And what are you looking for? I'm looking for employees. Looking for employees? Hey, boys. See anything you like? <laughs> Cha-ching! Cha-ching! <laughs> Give me that charisma persuasion. Fortunately, being a bard, my charisma, as we all know, is an 18. Is a 3. The night starts off great! <laughs> oh, no. Is that a 1? It's a 20 or a 1. It's a 20! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> so it begins... <laughs> Uh, I am gonna. Uh, 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 All the employees. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one of those employees. Comes All those employees. Uh, the stockyard you find hires a lot of warforged. They don't show much interest in you. However, the gnomes that are periodically here and there, climb aboard. They will boys. take you wherever you want, and they will answer just about whatever you want. I want to know how I can get on, not off, and I want to know how the train cars come apart. <laughs> come on there, little man. <laughs> Show me the love that I deserve. Uh, they and tell by the way, that's that you do not want to be on that train card because there are uh, a lot of guards to make sure that this voyage goes well because there's a lot of dangerous land between here and new home. Um, but I mean, they think you could probably just hop on board once you get out of the city. Uh, and while you stare seductively at them, they tell you how to take the train cars apart. Yes! <laughs> and Follow up might... question. Which is the baggage car? Is it the last one by chance? Uh, the baggage car is actually the third car. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm out, ladies. All right. We'll say that takes... Uh, you were successful. That was a day for you, at least. All right. And finally, Orla, Elda. Uh, good. Well... Our um, wonderful bard is distracting. Oh, I'm distracting. Yeah, is distracting everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are aware. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try and scope out um, if there's a way to get into where the train is, uh, how easy it is maybe to get into the cars, like the baggage cars, maybe we can hide behind something in there. Yeah, sure. Um, go ahead. Let's do um, stealth roll because there are some high fences and some free information for you. If you've seen uh, the Orlando Bloom ferry thing that they had recently, yeah, where they're working higher up above the city, this is actually where the lightning rail starts off. And so this is a very tall building that you are going to end up scaling in order to kind of get a better look at the train and how to get on. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. being that I have... Um, some good climbing. Yeah, some really yeah. good climbing. I'm assuming you can do this. And Bavarian, yeah. by the way, we will tie this in. 
you manage to get roll a d4 for me. Four. You get four gnome conduct, not conductor, outfits for the uh, servants on the train. The staff. Woo! The wait staff. There you go. Nice. <laughs> okay. Four, four gnome sized? Four yeah. gnome sized. It appears so far that the only people <laughs> who are going to be on this train that you know of at the moment are gnomes and a uh, warforged uh, guards. Okay. Well, okay. I rolled a nat 20 for 26 on my stealth. Jesus oh, motherfucking Christ, what? people. <laughs> 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 yeah. You get up there, you get in. Um, that's some heavy duty locks on the train cars. Um, and even at this point in time, all the cars are locked down and there are guards, uh, Warforged sentries walking back and forth. They can't roll perception for shit, so they didn't see you enter the building. If you want to take time to go through the car, what do you want to do? Yeah. Well, if it's locked, I would like very much to um, try to pick the lock. Okay. And uh, get into the baggage car, see what's there. Sure. <clears throat> um out in the open are you trying to get in from the side view or are you going to try and climb in between cars and get through say the um kind of whatever that hallway door is that yeah trains have? yeah i want to do that in between so that i'm not like in full view of the warforged okay yeah you manage to sneak on in there continuing through large okay. lock mm -hmm. yeah you... that was okay thieves tools check nine ten eleven twelve you do not get into this train, mm -hmm. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I thought it would be more than that. And as you are picking at the doors, you start to see increased activity from the guards. And there are, well, all of perception. They're talking about me, Orla. They're talking about you, yeah. I've, I've made it. <laughs> I am just a robot, but I wish I could have some of that. <laughs> Beep pop, boop, beep pop, beep pop, boop. Yeah, perception is eight. Yeah, oh, no, they're just running around and they seem bothered for some reason. But you know, it's it's ten o'clock. Guards do that normally. I'm sure it'll be just fine if you stay there any longer. <laughs> and then you hear a whistle, and there's a guard looking at you. Kind of whistle, lovely. Like a woo woo or normal whistle. <laughs> okay. Um, it is the whistle of someone being found. Roll initiative. Uh, shit. Are we okay. all? How close are they? She's the only one who climbed in. They're about thirty feet away. Okay. I w I'd like to cast minor illusion. Okay. What are you trying to do? That's, um, I'm going to make an illusion of me. Standing there, and I'm going to go under the train. <laughs> it's a DC 14. A DC 14. Okay. Yeah. Um, I usually like to play that minor illusions are believed until someone takes a swing at them. Mm -hmm. uh, but go ahead and give me a stealth check to see if you're not an actual twin who's making the escape. 18. 18. No, you're Rose. fine. And they come running up. You make your way underneath the train. More guards start gathering around. Uh, gathering about eight guards. Looks yeah, I'm like I'm going to start on. walking down underneath the train away from them. Dun, okay. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. And all right. <laughs> If you leave the building, you are good and clear, and that is your night. I am leaving the building. All right. Helda, what are you doing tonight while that oh, is apparently well, all happening? Wait, now it's in the building or the... All right. Mm-hmm. So while that is going... I mean, I'm just basically 
looking at the train. I mean, I'm an artificer. I'm not, I don't know if I can come up with a good dwarven voice. Uh, I'm an artificer, so um, I would be interested in this thing anyways. It's a marvel. Uh, but I want to look and see what, you know, yeah, what are people, are there anybody that works in the train, like conductors or whatever, is anybody there in uniform yet, or do I see any uniforms or whatever? I'm making, basically making plans to sneak aboard. Okay. So, notice anything. All right, guys, you're going to have to throw yourselves. When you want to do the same thing, let me know ahead of time. No, it, well, it's... I mean, I'm not really, <laughs> it's basically, no, it's, well, I've got disguise self, so it's not quite the same thing. I'm just planning ahead. The other thing is, all right, so as I mentioned, I've never played an artificer. Can they actually build bombs and stuff or no? I'm not sure. I believe they can. Because I'm thinking what would be not really effective is throwing like uh, some sort of a firebomb into the baggage cart. After you let Excuse me one moment. A time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop stealing all my moves. <laughs> um It was a thought. <laughs> it will say that we leave Orla to the uh, express sneaking into the building. She talks to you. You find out that it's going to be incredibly difficult to get to the baddies claim. And maybe she tells you about the fact that the guards are now on alert for someone tampering with the train. <laughs> they oh, thought yeah. it was oh, a yeah. possibility. Now they know it's happening. <laughs> I mean, I'm not when the train would be in operation unless i mean the bags aren't there yet are they i think that would be when the people get on the train yeah. their no, that, bags would be that's there that's what i thought you know mm -hmm. that's, that's what i would assume no i was gonna do it when we were just before we were gonna let the train go but i assume that's why you know the, the bar there was looking uh, to figure out how to get the, uh, you know, cars apart. Sure. We are on day four now, and uh, we'll add some more well-known information in there. <coughs> uh, there is farmland outside of the city where the train will be on the ground. You have some hilly areas after that, mountain areas after that, plains, and then the train will eventually reach the city. There is potential that you could attempt to board the train in any of those areas as well, less likely of a guard presence, although you may assume that there's going to be more guards thanks to the botched attempt the other night. Suggestion? Uh, sure. Once the train gets out of town, we have Orla use her immovable pole and stop the train and in the confusion, board the train. That's a very good plan. A good idea. I love it when a plan comes together. Mm -hmm. That's a mm -hmm. smart idea. <laughs> Pity the um, fools are getting our way. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's just say Helda is Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh my God, I have not seen enough A team in so long. I don't freaking remember. That's oh, okay. You, Bavarian doesn't know what we're talking about. So, are, are you face or are you? Uh, the Me? I, no, I'm not, no, I'm Hannibal. <laughs> I'm the brains behind this outfit. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. All right, Helda, go ahead and give me an intelligence check. <laughs> that is my strong thing. I thought uh, you'd appreciate it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Anyone else have uh, Arcana or? Uh, common sense in the intelligence department. One of those skills. No. <laughs> it's 50. I'll do an intelligence check. Uh, Arcana, I said, right? Ar I, well, oh, I mean, ar just Arcana, okay. Oh, I mean an intelligence, flat intelligence check would oh. work, but it's going to have to be higher. Oh, 30-20. Um, 30-20, yeah, no. 
Uh, both of you know that immovable rods will, after a certain amount of force hits it, uh, break or move, or yep. potentially if it doesn't, if this train doesn't see a tiny object in the way, you could destroy the train, which is not one oh. of your goals. But not necessarily out of our goal mm -hmm. range. Not, not, <laughs> not, not, goals. not necessarily. You can try it. <laughs> Uh, anyone play Red Dead Redemption 2? Just put the immobile rod and then you wave the train to stop and hope it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the young one. Other than Bavarian can stand on the tracks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so short. I'm like a speed bump. Oh my gosh. We can, have, we can have the bar get out there, you know, and I just hike up, put her leg out there, you know? Isn't that the way to get Oh, so I'm yeah. a whore now. <laughs> you weren't what else are bards? God. Hello, boys. <laughs> well, with that, you know, with that, you know, rather than doing set of chain mail, you could probably stop a train. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Helda, we ended with you. Let's start with you. Oh Lord, uh, what? What are we doing today? <laughs> you're asking uh, more questions. More uh, questions. You're on day four. Um, <clears throat> And again, any general information, depending on what kind it is, will affect how long it takes you to find it. I have no fucking clue what to ask. I mean, and there's no way to get... <laughs> I've never thought about robbing a train before. Uh, I'm a good person, Kyle. You know, is she going to throw us all under the bus like she always does in crime? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys that one of you has a secret objective to turn you all in. Great. I'm killing all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Catch me first. That was very convincing, Carol. All yeah. right. Uh, Orla, why don't we go back over to you while she thinks. Oh, yeah. It's friggin' cool. What the hell to do? <laughs> okay. So I know that putting the immovable rod in the way of the actual train engine isn't good can i roll In something another, to see yeah. about messing with the wheels if i put it down low enough to the track uh you were there last night there aren't wheels uh, it's oh it's a japanese train oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, again we're pulling more towards eberron but i didn't read yeah. the book there are no so rails. Guessing. Okay, so it's like, like a monorail go. type thing, or we're going to doesn't land. touch the ground. I think it just hovers. If you, huh. I will say that Helda, you would know because you've been walking around town a little bit. You do know that while there is a start where it's above rails over the city to kind of help the train go out. There are also these towers that look like they have um, some sort of conduit for electricity. Oh, I got an idea. And if you take some time, you can yeah. see about how far they go on. Well, could you get to one of those rails and cut the power? You would be... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, do it. <laughs> I throw Helda <laughs> on the wire. <laughs> and then a pail of water. <laughs> you could climb up there to get a better look. It is in the middle of the city. And there are people who are eyeballing about it, talking about this train, because it is, again, the first lightning rail that anyone has ever seen. This is the first attempt, first maiden joy voyage. Enjoy it! <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's, my, That's my idea, anyways. It's yeah. Go take I mean, it could be that these lightning posts, as we're going to call them right now, guide the train. It could be that they power the train, um, honestly, without getting a closer look. Um, you're not going to find out. And honestly, the best way to go about it in your mind would be to go outside the city and see if you could study yeah. one of those. That's if we have a whole day, I mean, I can go do that while people are doing other stuff. I'd like own? to go with her. 
<laughs> Who's all going with outside the city? <laughs> yeah, let's go outside the city. I'll go. I, I am all right. That's fine. I got my outfits. I try to squeeze into the one. Oh god! Oh, I'm gonna squeeze into one. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take one. All right. Who else wants an outfit? An outfit? And now nah, I'm good. No. Really? Aha! Right. Uh-huh. That's interesting. Hmm. So I keep the spare outfit in my backpack just in case mine rips. <laughs> oh, mine's ripped <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> You just have like the chainmail going through, like um, like it's lacing I, it together. I have a, a bumpy chainmail outfit. I'm hiking <laughs> up to show midriff, and uh, I'm I tying mean, it in a knot. As I said, if I have to, I'll cast disguise self. All right. I'm gonna look for <laughs> trees. Since we're going outside, the trees. Gonna try, we're, maybe I won't even need it. So. All right. You guys put on the outfits, you hop on a horse, or you just start walking out of town. The guards wave at you, but give cuddle paws an interesting look on the way out. <laughs> just kind of keep going. One of them, like, sending stone me. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that... <laughs> You get out there. Um, it appears you can see them. They are far off in the distance. Um, we'll say maybe about 500 yards apart. And as you, or if you continue going out, they get farther and farther apart as they leave the city. These are those tower thingies? These are those lightning towers, yes. Are there any trees around them? Uh, not to start off with, you're kind of in farmlands at the moment. If you go uh, a couple hours outside, you will start to see a more wooded and hilly area. Kind of fire. Yeah, we we'll keep going. Yeah, go to go to where there's some maybe some cover. Sure. So to the woods. Yeah. Let's start chopping and- trees down. But- Oh, you're starting a fire! I knew it. Oh, well, let's block the let's block the trail, cause it to slow down, jump That's on fire. there. Yeah. Well, so I was thinking of you know just powering it down. I mean, there would be chaos and such, and we might be able to get on board in the chaos. But I'm trying to think. I mean, this thing hovers. How would we put stuff in its path? Trees, giant trees. We can fly <laughs> inverted. <laughs> I mean, we could try. We put the horse on the tracks. God, <laughs> cold hearted. Let's kill wow. the mouse. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's I'm a little bit sure how far up in the air, but it's up in the air. Are there cows nearby? <laughs> there were cows in the farmlands. Oh my God, you people are horrible. Uh, <laughs> They're big animals. They're going to slow it down. Put enough for them on the track. So. <laughs> okay. We'll say that you guys, uh, Helda, you specifically wanted to look at one of these lightning towers. You managed to go out to where people aren't going to see. Give me an intelligence arcana check. And if you decide to climb it, give me an athletics check while you're at it, too. I'm going to try not to climb it. I All ready right. my bow. <laughs> <laughs> That is, my dice fucking hate me, um, as usual. That's only a nine. I got a good intelligence, but when friggin' I got shit for rolls. Sure. Wow. You guys end up taking a little bit more time than you were expecting out here, uh. helping Helda discover what's going on. Helda. I'm a dwarf. I tend to stay low to the ground. I don't really climb. Yeah, sure. No, it's not a problem. I can throw uh, you up there if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to climb and I'm sure to, I'm going to end up blowing myself if this is what's going to happen. Hey, I believe that's my profession. Blowing me up or blowing yourself up? Yes. Yes. Can so you up. tell how this works? Can you see how that makes the train go? I'm trying to figure that out. This is very, very complicated. (laughs) 
You spend the rest of the evening. You camp out in the woods. Oh, I'm fascinated. Roll a 1d6, everybody, for the fun of it. Oh, man. Three. Five. Three. Goes on well, Helda. You keep working at it and working at it, and you figure at the end of the day, these towers actually don't use a lot of electricity. It's almost like a battery's amount of electricity sparks from a tower to whatever it's supposed to shock and more send a signal somewhere. You could potentially climb up and jump on the train from here at this point, though. That's a thought. You don't expect much danger from that other than, you know, jumping on a moving train. Oh, yeah. I have feline agility. I, I can do that shit. Jeet <laughs> <laughs> went where? And with that, you guys head back into the city and see what other information you can find out. So no cows? No, oh, yeah, there's cows. Is that one on the track? Why, do you want to throw a cow, like some cows on the track? <laughs> yeah, we're going to, like, they're going to have, like, you know, their halter and lead rope, and we're going to tie it on the track so they're just stuck there. Is there like a, a row of them? The front? Orla, that is a, a cow good catcher? question. Is, um, did I see a cow catcher on the front of the train? There appears to be that, something like that. But there, that, there's a something that'll catch. But usually <laughs> only one. I don't know. I yeah, think so if we had like five much. or something, you know, just like in a row. How about we find a damsel in distress and we tie her down there. And With the cow. On top of the cow. On top of the cow. <laughs> yelling, help, help. Uh, <laughs> I vote for Helda. You find out that Dudley Do-Right has been looking for just such a situation <laughs> and has been riding up and down the rail. <laughs> ah, foiled again, am I? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a potential possibility. You still have some days to ask some questions and figure out some things. Uh, when we get back to town, I want to know who's piloting this craft and what they're wearing. And I'm sure that... Wearing. I can ask them in an appropriate manner. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. Oh, I take that gnome outfit off too before I do that. <laughs> While they're watching. <laughs> oh, very seductively. Music That's starts right. playing in the background. Da 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 da. Huh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is the distraction portion. Would you guys get your ass on the train and look around? Yeah. <laughs> oh, get yeah. my little finger symbols out. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Despite trying to get into the train station, the Warforged aren't going to let you, but if you talk to some of those gnomes from the other night... Who's the one? Uh, let's mention. talk to that guy. <laughs> the guard. Guard doesn't have anything to say with you. He's just the wall guard. He's not around the train? He's not around the train, although he was there for when they uh, put the hole around the wall that the train is going to go through. Mm. Immovable rod there. That, I'll, I'll just ask who's that. ever associated with the train with a 15 plus... Uh, persuasion <laughs> seven, so 22. Uh, so who are the brave men piloting this craft? I'd love to meet them. They make me tingle in places I shouldn't mention. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 22. Shut up. <laughs> They buy your dice. <laughs> well, I was like, eh, you don't care about those guys. They, they're, they're wimpy and frail. You need a real man to please you. And he pulls out his third leg and then his fourth, then fifth. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, I, I'm my. tempted to use uh, <laughs> my first vicious mockery on him. <laughs> Yeah, he just seems to get incredibly uh, jealous 
of uh, apparently whoever's conducting these trains because he wants your attention to himself and doesn't talk to you any more about that. So you can either kick him to the curb or rock his night and maybe he'll feel better about it in the morning. What's his charisma? A Is 19. that really what matters? Sure. I'll give yeah, it a shot. That's why he has a couple. Of- hey, hey, <laughs> not all of us are morally upright. If that dude's a 19, I'll rock the house. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, how? Okay. Let me go ahead and draw this out for you. (laughs) (laughs) Bavarian, you're up. Oh, God. All right. So the guards, would they know stuff or get us on? Can I intimidate the guard to let me on? (laughs) What? Go ahead. I try to act nice. Yes, and (laughs) act nice as I intimidate them. Um, this is a really bad roll. A nine. <laughs> I come up like, you know, I'll stop in my feet. <laughs> I'm on the train. Oh, I didn't see the girl. The guards take one look at you. <laughs> pull out a sending stone. Get the paddy wagon. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hey, can I rock the guard's house inside the train? You do what? I want to rock his house inside the train. Inside the train? Yeah. Yeah, like a show. If he wants this, I'm going to need somewhere comfortable, preferably on that train. Right. Maybe get a little the guards cool. are war forged is the issue here. They're christening the train, though. Right. How many guards are there? Uh, at the moment, four on the wall, but there are more coming. For you. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to run, you can make an athletics check to see if you escape them. It's up to where, you. Where is the ticket booth? Can I get a list of the passengers? Athletics. Sure. All right, I try to run. I Where's trip. my athletic? No! <laughs> 20, 22. You're seducing a gnome. All right. You managed to escape, and luckily you didn't say anything about the trains. They just assume eventually that a drunk dwarf was getting drunk again. Gosh. Of course. <laughs> uh, Orla? I stumble as I run away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Orla, uh, make a slight of hand check. Twelve. Twelve, okay. And make a charisma... Well, so there is someone at the toll booth. Should have gone with this first. Someone at the toll booth. Mm -hmm. They are papers all there in front of them. How do you want to take it? And I'll let you re-roll the sleight of hand because I didn't tell you that information. You want to try and steal it out from under them. You probably are going to need someone to distract them. He's not currently <laughs> sleeping with a gnome at the moment. I'm already done. <laughs> Is the- oh, shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, this gnome's constitution isn't letting you finish. Okay. Um, yeah, there's okay. someone out there. It would be are, they no- are they a gnome? They are indeed a gnome. Okay, I'm going to put the uniform on mm-hmm. and go and... Good, you're still here. I need the passenger list right now. They need it, and I have to bring it to them, and so you have to give it to me now. I said the same thing, Orla. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not a gnome. Oh. I'll go ahead and make that deception with advantage, if you please. There's a little bit of gnome in me, Orla. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> hey, that's a 19 on a gnome. So for a gnome, that's... He doesn't have a shitty haircut. Still nothing. What it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, crumbs, that's only an 11. Only an 11 with advantage? Yeah. yeah he just looks... Like- well, if it was a... 
Yeah, no, charisma's zero. Never mind. Okay, yeah. can I run up and be like, did you get the passenger list also in my outfit? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Our boss is asking for it. You're running from guards at this moment. I apologize. I'm running all over. Oh man! The four and the two is what you got. Like uh, who's they? Stockton. You know the boss, Stockton. the guy in charge of everything. Stockton. Stockton. <laughs> yeah. That's oh god! Oh, god. Here, here you go. Know. And he hands you the uh, uh, the passenger list. As well as the train cars that are and the uh, manifest. There you go. I should have written that. Thank down. you so very much. And I run away. But just tell the big guy. I will. I will. Probably well, you should home. like skip away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. From reading the manifest, there are quite a few people on the list, um, and you find out. There are going to be eight cars, engine, uh, the servant car, uh, bag, servant car, what, what did I call those people again? Uh, the employee car, whatever. Slaves. Quarters. Slave, the quarters, yeah. Uh, there's going to be the baggage car, which is third in line. This is all in order, by the way. Uh, there is going to be a dining car, a lounge car, a sleeper car. And if someone would roll a D6 for me. Six. Six? Okay. There is a, uh, a theater car. A local theater in town uh, has bought an entire <laughs> car in order to <laughs> put their stage props in. What is the name of this stage group? Ah, fuck you! I didn't actually think of anything for the stage group. <laughs> so wait, Kyle, Kyle, what were the what cars you have? The engine, and then what? Engine, staff, baggage, staff, dining, baggage, uh, lounge, sleeper, theater. Hold on. Oh, the baggage is the third car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baggage is going to be the third car in front of the theater car. Um, so the theater is in between baggage and dining. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Engine, staff, baggage, diner, lounge, sleeper. A new car has recently signed up by orders of Stockton. He is sending 40 soldiers to Newhall. It could be additional protection. But we'll say if you guys talk about it, you hear, oh, he's such a great guy. You know, he's sending those kids home and back from the war front. Oh, he's such a great guy. He's going to hold a whole parade for them when they get there. And after the soldier mm -hmm. transport is the theater car of the Frank fucking sucks theater group. <laughs> I can come up with a better name than that. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually a tabaxi group uh, known as the Tommy O'Malley Theater Group. Oh man, I thought you could do some like pussycats all thing. I was gonna say, are they performing? It's cats? about to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One of their favorite songs is uh, Everybody Wants to Be a Tabaxi. <laughs> all right, some people are old enough to know the Aristocats. All right. Oh god, that. Some of us, but yeah. Oh, sorry, the cats, cats, cats. It's a very, <laughs> very old Disney movie. Don't miss me. Mm. Oh God! He's Mally the Alley Cat. All right, let me see where you guys are at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know about you guys. I know which car I'm getting on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to the soldiers. I know that already. That's right. I'm going to be uh, tired. But I'm going to be on that train. Mm. Is there a bar? <laughs> a bar car? Lounge, maybe? Yeah. It is yeah. part of the lounge car. Ah, uh, that's where I'll be. Yeah. Well, I yeah. suppose as you're walking by the building, they are doing advertisements for it. And they mention some of the things that are in there. A fully stocked bar in the lounge. Cigars, beer. We're all set. 
just advertisements enough to tempt you into wanting to buy a five hundred dollar ticket. Do we have five hundred? Oh, well, it's sold out, isn't it? It is sold yeah. out. Uh, and again, you're not being paid up front for it. You got magic items and the promise of some good stuff. Did when Orla looked at the manifest, was there a quartet by chance? A quartet. Uh, entertainers? No. No, j just four people with the same ticket, like a family or something like that. We killing a family and stealing their tickets? Wow. Yeah. Mm. I don't look at it as killing. <laughs> we're, we're liberating the tickets from them to save Thank them. Thank you. <laughs> we're liberating them from their lives. If they die, they <laughs> Well, die. if it happens. Let me see. One uh, of us has stinking cloud, so I'm not afraid to do my spray neuter campaign on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> of the people, if you look at the manifest, um, make an either a charisma insight or an intelligence insight because you're just going by name base and potentially if you know if they're nobility or not 18 18 anyone can make this check by the way 18 sounds good to me mm -hmm. 18 sounds yeah. good to you it does. Um, i got a 15 well i got 17 okay that's a marvel <laughs> Looking at the list, there are no tabaxi who are actually going to be on it. There are quite a few humans, some dwarves, uh, a couple of halflings, and some elves. Uh, looking at the list, most of them are going to be nobility, well known that if you try and walk in looking like them, it's going to be difficult. Well, Bavarian and I have the easy route, so Helda and Orla, it's up to you. Would we know if the tickets have their name on them, or is it just you present the ticket and you get on the train? Never seen the tickets before. Mm -hmm. If you go around and find Lady Mildred Perry, she is an older woman you would recognize as one of the nobility, and she tends to be flashy and like to show off all the fancy things she's had. She's a very gaudy woman. And if you take your last two days, you might be able to figure out what a ticket looks like. Do you steal people? I'm going to tap the gnome again. Sure. Are you getting all spray? I, I am trying to get on that uh, train before it leaves so I can get the lay of the land, so to speak. Mm -hmm. the, the guards are not just warforged. They're all sorts of races, right? The guards who are at this tower are all warforged, you assume, because they don't sleep and they don't sleep with people. What but the gnomes do. <laughs> the gnomes do. But what are the, where are the gnomes stationed? Where are they stationed? They yeah. go in, they work, they leave and enter a little barracks where they get one penny and a bowl of rice. Oh, that's so sad. I, I see if I could disguise myself as like something like that to get on the access to the train. Sure thing. Uh, I, because like I said, I've got disguise off. I mean, I, it would be useful if I could figure out how to... So, so wait, the gnomes are just workers on the train? That is correct. Um, looking at the manifest, though, there are going to be a few gnomes who are actually going to be there to work on the Warforged and to do some of the more delicate tasks of serving the nobility that's on board. Well, I'm uh, getting boned by the gnome. I'm going to tell him that uh, my cohorts and I are looking forward emphatically to uh, being on that train at that train car and making sure he tells all of his friends to come see me with that theater troupe as part of a deception as part of a deception because if they think that I'm with that group they would not 
be uh, suspicious. <laughs> so the I'm theater sure group is actually not going to be on the train. They've already arrived in New Hall. They're just sending their stuff along. Right. And I've got to watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is certainly a way to get you on board. Well, we could all Roll be... A, oh, go ahead. We all get to take shifts. I mean, one person to watch it for, you know... I've never met her before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is immediately slaughtered by all the guys there. They mount her head on a pike. Carol, go ahead and just mute yourself and uh, we'll move on. Orla, how about you? No, okay. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I want, uh, no, I was thinking of trying to get on the train mm -hmm. now, sneak on for a sneak peek. And I was going to do it since I hadn't had my turn today. I was going to do it while with that, while uh, the barbarian was pulling all the cards. But I can't disguise myself as a guard. It doesn't friggin' work. It's the train. Oh, and are they going in and out freely or are they unlocking the cars? There's a whistle that blows. All the gnomes go in. Another whistle later, they all leave. I could, I could just wait for them to. Mm -hmm. And we'll say you kind of learned that earlier on because you don't got a lot of time left. Uh, if you want to go ahead and go with that ploy, uh, you can make a deception check. Frank. Uh, 13 plus 7, dirty 20. Dirty 20? Yeah. All the gnomes know that you're supposed to be there and on board that train. Hey, boys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> So what does this guy self give you for that check? Which check are you trying to make? It's a deception. I'm going to look like one of them. So does that give me a bonus? I look like one of the gnome workers? Yes. Damn, and you look like one of the gnome workers. You walk up to the guards. What do you say? I don't. I'm just going to walk in with them. Oh, with the beginning of the whistle. Yes, I mean, sure. I can do this the next day if you'd rather, actually. And we could say this day I spent studying that. Sure. You yeah, walk that in, you look like one of the gnomes. Okay. Yeah, and I'm no. I'll go with her for that. <laughs> you go with her for that, too? Okay. Because they already know that, or some people already think I'm an employee, so. Yeah, I sure. assume we would all try to, like, different carts. Like, get on, right? You're just going to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I get drunk and then I rage out, you know, standard. <laughs> we'll get to you, Frank, and your plan on getting bored in a minute. Helda, Orla, you end up going in with the gnomes. There are the little chink chink cards over there. Whoa, um, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I, hey, I said chink chink. I didn't say the chink virus cards or whatever. So it's fine, guys. God. I'll, I'll uh, pretend to go punch a card. And yeah. Uh, slide a hand, slide a hand. Oh, Lord, that's going to be fun. Oh, 13. You're good. I'm that one. Oh, no, you're the one with sleight of hand. Ah. I know. <laughs> I pretend to tell you. Knocks over all the cards. <laughs> Orla, one of the more important looking gnomes out of these crummy looking gnomes comes up. He's wearing a little badge and he says, hey, what are you doing? We're part of the union. You got to check in your time and get paid the money you owe. You're in Jersey? Exactly. We're changing this uh, up. Don't hate on Jersey. <laughs> They're awful. Uh, anyway. they, yeah, not, I'm not hating on Jersey. They, yeah. <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna like try to rifle through, find my, find a card and punch it and put it back and hope he doesn't. Roll a d12. How lucky are you? Oh God. <laughs> What's that? I, I nope. got ten. Okay. Yeah, no, you're good. You managed to find, uh, there's three left. You grab one of them real quick, check it in, go walking out. Mm, yeah, and thank you. Uh, Bye. Immediately, the union gnome is on someone else's ass because they're saying they're already checked in. And 
He's taking that gnome off to the boss. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will later find a gnome's head, the one who was on, on a bike outside. <laughs> okay, anyway, you are now in with the working gnomes. What do you do? I'm gonna have four. I'm gonna head for the engine. Okay. Yeah, our, so all the doors for the train cars are unlocked. At this point? At the moment, yes. These gnomes are doing a lot of the finishing, finalizing work. Spolish, pitch, spit shine, and everything like yeah. that. There's one gnome who's spinning around really fast in a circle with a bunch <laughs> of pops. Lemony fresh. Doing a good job, dude. Keep it up. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm giving him a wide breath so that when he gets dizzy and throws <laughs> on me. <laughs> uh, guys who are doing bingo, that would be another pop culture reference if you have that. If not, there you go. All right. You guys get up to the engine car. Um, roll another D12. Both of us? Just one. 11. Better than me. Fuck. <laughs> Don't you just love it when that happens, Kyle? Right? Yeah, no, it's working out uh, perfectly to plan. The engine room, as you walk up to it, is ajar. Just a small crack. All right. And what would you do? I'm going to look in. Unless, I, I, uh, she's, well, she's more stealthy than me. Yeah. Like, no, well, she should have said that she was looking in then. Yeah, I know. I, um, no, you can uh, open I the door I will look around and make bit. sure no one's watching. I am just Perception stuck. check. Self check. It's not a high one. I'm not. Oh, which one? Perception or... You have stealth. Orla has perception. All right. My stealth is really good then. My stealth is 21. Cool. And I got oh. 11 perception. My dice didn't hate me that time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> You manage to look around, look busy, <laughs> tap her on the back, and she manages to open the door quietly. Inside, you see this is a very heavy steel door, and as you look at it, you have enough investigation that I'm going to say you notice yeah. bands of various different metals. You can identify mithril, adamantine. They are not joking when they made this car. It is thick and as you open up you see one elvish gentleman in uh robes and one human gentleman a gentle lady let's say in this case because i made the chink comment earlier so i have to make up for it <laughs> the point. and they're currently hovering around uh what looks like a strange uh, steel orb that's floating in place. Arcs of electricity are going from their hands into the orb on either side, and the occasional gust of wind is billowing throughout the room, despite the fact that as you look through, there are no windows. It is a solid steel with a few windows looking out the front, uh, and just these two, you would assume wizards. So, just out of curiosity, does that paper, does that paper, name is Harriet. Does that paper, that scroll of, um, how is it called? Cap it doesn't flash or anything, like a camera, right? Would you I like to have tried one out previously? I mean, it is a, I thought There's it was only a three. I mean, how many do I need to get back with the pictures of this room? All three or one? Well, Say cheese! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, maybe I need one of those uh, scroll of capture thingies uh, for my Insta fantasy gram. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I mean, we're going to have a chance. I don't think we're going to have a chance. All right, I'll, I'll say then, yeah, I tried one out earlier. Okay, it doesn't I, I, flash. I to you end train. You're going to try to end the train? No, I tried. No, you said you asked if I tried it, would have tried it before. That's some th things I just came up with. So I would have gone outside, but before all this, and I would have 
taken a picture of the front of the train, the outside of the car. From the outside of the car. Yeah. Um, flash or anything? People in the street wonder what you do. It doesn't flash. You just open <laughs> it up and you press on this little glass ink bottle that happens to be in the corner and the ink runs out and it just paints this beautiful black and white portrait of the front of the train along with your upward position at looking at it from outside. So you know, no, it does not flash. And you would say that they're making <coughs> enough noise and are plenty distracted. They probably won't hear the chink of the glass breaking when Dad? you <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention that the elf was also a woman, and they're both women, very strong. One of them is a, a riveting, All right, I'm very gonna... handsome woman with a riveting <laughs> chest. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna. I mean, so this was all fairly quickly. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna basically pull the scroll and just get a picture. Sure, you do that, uh, Orla. Make a perception check, and. Yeah, watch out. Uh, give me an intelligence perception, Helda. <laughs> I'm like so nervous right now. Oh, no, nope, not at all. Nope. That was only a two on the die, so that's going to be six. And I got 13. 13? Black no one's still watching you. You guys seem to be fine. Although, if you don't <laughs> hurry up, you think maybe the guards, because there are more of them now. Uh, oh, no. Are going to start noticing what's going on, um, Helda. Your darn finger was over the uh, capture ruin, what? and so there is a great image of your fingerprint on top. God damn oh, it. hey, I tell you what, I will give you this. You do get the bottom half of Harriet's legs in her robe, and maybe a splash of lightning there. All right, I'm going to try to take one more. Don't do that. What am I going to roll for this? It's an intelligence perception check. It's I like to blend the things. Well, how the heck do you... Are you proficient okay. in perception? No. I get, yeah, perception's wisdom, that's why. All right, okay. so no. This an intelligence. All right, so I gotta make an intelligence check, basically. Sure. Working cold. Uh, I mean, and that's my good one, but my dice tend to fucking hate me. <laughs> hey, Helda, uh, just to let you know, uh, Bavarian and I are already on the fucking train waiting for this thing to go. Can we start this train? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the day it's leaving, right? Hopefully, uh, while you're it's going to be leaving tomorrow morning. Well, that's better. The second check was a lot better than the first mm -hmm. one, but it's only on 11. Okay. No, it opens up a little bit more. You remember, move the finger, and you have an image of the two wizards okay. working right now. And uh, Orla, at this point, you guys are probably going to want to get out of there or yeah. at least start to look busy again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Um, like, like, I'll pull out, like, I mean, I'm an a artificer, probably have a rag somewhere, so I'm, like, busy, you know, I start moving my way out, dusting things, cleaning. Sure. Yeah, let's, uh... Let me get to the baggage car, right? Yeah, let's go to the baggage car. <laughs> All right, you guys managed to get into the baggage car. Anything in there yet? Things are starting to be loaded. There are several crates um, everything's closed off. Um, there, uh, mm, there is, um, one crate with VGI on the side printed in there. Um, go for VGA or HDMI. It's much more routine. Oh, do you want to take something from it? I, I want to go. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long we can be in here, but that was part of the deal. Yeah. I so. mean, as you guys walk in, we'll say that there are a couple of gnomes who are busy oh. checking on some things, and they actually just left having finished. So you do <clears throat> have the baggage cart to yourselves right now. Nice. Oh. Go to rifle okay. through, please. 
the yeah the the uh, thing with the VGI on it, the crate. VGI. Sure. I would like to. Um, since wizards appear to be powering this, I'm going to check for traps. Investigation. And, yes. I don't know if I can aid or anything. I have a good investigation. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, sure. You see, well, go ahead and take advantage with that because she's helping you out. I can help you, I've, and I've, mine is actually pretty good. So mm -hmm. that's... the fifteen was the better roll. Okay, ah. you do see on this box there are three strings tied with various um, expensive-looking materials something that wizards would use, possibly an alarm on the box. Oh. Um, gonna leave this one for last. Okay. Oh. Because if the alarm goes off, we need to GTFO. I wanna go through a bunch of the other stuff. That's fair, that's fair. All right, and hey guys, I actually prepared for that inevitability, so I have a Thanks. bunch of random things listed. You guys tell me, what, which box do you want to open? Oh, gosh, I have stuff all over the place. Uh, how many boxes are there? I'll roll like a D10 or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, there are the... So the baggage cart, as you see it, is actually split from two places. There is shelves on one end that are nice up, and you think this might be where the nobles would put their baggage you know because they tend to carry a lot of shit mm -hmm. that might be where theirs is and they don't have anything in that currently um there is gosh i haven't thought about this in a second here <coughs> there is also hmm, all of these carts are built similar there is a restroom area in the front right corner in this case, there is going to be those shelves next to it, uh, a little blockade wall where the crates are, uh, and there is also a heavy steel um, vault at the moment. Uh, and as far as the crate section is, it's about halfway full, um, very large boxes in some cases, um, so you got about six boxes or so. Okay. Got a box number two first. Box number two. Uh, you open that up and inside you move some of the straw and you are removing nails as you do this. I'll they were nailed shut. All right. Uh, inside there just appear to be several heavy crossbows. Uh, of the Eberin quality, so they actually look more like rifles with magical ruins along them. So there oh. are about 20 heavy crossbows in this box. Oh, shit. Uh, box number one. Uh, box number one is the VGI. Oh, I don't want to open that. No, I was... Mm -hmm. Let me reroll. Four. Four? Uh, in this one, you find... Let's see. Uh, that wouldn't be on there yet. Uh, in this one, you find uh, a box full of more smaller boxes. If you take the time to unravel them, uh, it appears to be several potion ingredients and components. Uh, the one you happen to open up is a bunch of dried cat's eyes. Ew. Uh, <laughs> that shit is gross. <laughs> I was hoping Tamlin would be here because he would be really upset by this. <laughs> You're right. Um, oh my god, I want to take some of this stuff. It's yeah. alchemical components. Sure. I'm an alchemist. Yeah. That's um, go ahead and roll a d20. Uh, we'll say arcana for this. Intelligence. Um, and you can kind of pick through, <laughs> grab what you think might be useful. Well, since I don't technically, it doesn't matter. Intelligence and arcana are the same thing. I don't have a trained. Uh, be still a uh, 19. 19? Yeah, no, you are good. You are 
able to find some of the nicer ingredients near the bottom of the box. We'll say you have some common sense. Yeah. Don't grab everything from the top. You put some stuff in your bag. Hopefully they don't check the gnomes on the way out, right? Anyway, uh, yep, what else would you like to do? I'm going to um, try. And Bavarian uh, cuddle pause at this point. You guys have found your way on the train. You're going to be boarding the theater troupe when it leaves. Okay. I'm going to rearrange. Go ahead. Go ahead, Bavaria. <laughs> I'm going to go get a drink at the bar first thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what else are you guys doing? What's, what's um, Okay, so we still have boxes three, five, and six. Sure are. And with your guys' 13s, there are going to be some people in the background talking about doing some more work on the baggage car and loading up some more boxes. So you are going to be limited. You probably have one box each. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got number three. All right. I'll take five. I'm not touching number one. (laughs) Uh, Orla, in your box, you find um, spices, dried plants, there's licorice. Um, oh, hey, there's catnip, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but it appears to be spices and various dried plants to do this. A lot of the boring oh. stuff, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And, Helda, you find um, in a large, narrow box, open it up, there are a bunch of spears. Not all weapons, but there seems to be a bunch of weapons on this. What is there some trafficking going on here? Probably well, you do recall that 40 soldiers are That's added true. to the train car. Okay. At that point, the voices are getting lower. You can either exit without them knowing, or if you want to be in here nailing those boxes shut, be my guest. Um... Put the tops on as securely as possible, and then I think we should leave. Yeah, exactly. Leave. All right. Make dexterity checks real quick. Go! Checks. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. That's a... Uh, we what? can use sleight of hand on there if you want to make it look like the boxes are nailed shut. Uh, 10? 30, 20. 30, 20. Okay. okay. Orla hastily puts one of the boxes shut and go off to the side and starts going out the door. Helda, you put it on there. You notice that and you just shift it and walk out the door with her behind her. Yep. <laughs> and you guys are still in the hall. Anything else you'd like to do? At this point, you Maybe are go going to be... To hmm? Maybe go to the theater car. I don't know if... We knew that was part of the plan, was to get him there. Maybe we could just go to the theater car. Join us. <laughs> They're not actually there yourself. I, the I figured this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Your own way on. <laughs> bring the catnip. Yeah, I think someone really it. wants it. <laughs> don't bring the eyes. Don't bring the cat eyes. <laughs> yeah, don't bring the cat eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this one looks like Uncle Hazel's eyes. It's really weird. <laughs> Guards! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys make your way. Yeah. Stuff you'll, we're going you'll through. Lounge first. This is probably going to be the last car you can really get a look at since you're looking busy on your way down there. Yeah. <laughs> you find yourself in the theater car. Uh, again, it's not completely loaded up. Looking around, you see set pieces for various plays. Uh, none of them are good. There appears to be some cat costumes in the background, although why Tabaxi would need cat costumes. Uh, hold on. Duh. We're performing cats. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Plebeian. <laughs> it's so obvious. Um, I might why the cat people need cat costumes so that there is no confusion as to the persona i am oh. attempting to go ahead and show oh uh, okay i can't All be right. me 
I'm thinking of it. You put no. on like actual fur because you're like, no one's going to know I'm a cat if I don't have there fur on. Right. Yeah. Because I am a sphinx. There's oh my nothing. I know. He's a <laughs> cat. I'm a millennial hey. sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> Cats are creepy. Uh, right. Do I see them come in? Um, if you want to be there, but there's going to be more risk of you being discovered. <laughs> it's up to you. Well, I'm looking for a hiding place in there behind the set pieces. Oh, the gnomes know you're supposed to be there. Oh. They'll yeah. let you in. Then I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I'm still. I'm spending the night here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys myself. notice yeah. cuddle paws hanging next to the cat costumes, wondering, oh. I should screech loudly and say I'm in the middle of changing. <laughs> but I have no shame, so I go, friends. <laughs> hair. <laughs> hair yeah, sure. Wait, you have no hair. I have no hair. So I've been licking the costumes. Skin ball. Yeah. Skin. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's skin that's worse. I'm taking off my tags. Oh. You're did, welcome. Did you, bring, did you bring the cat around? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, we got you something, and I hand. Uh, they throw it at him. Yes, the uh, <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You see the galaxy. <laughs> you understand all. <laughs> this, this is the moment, and then the catnip wears off, and it's Jim like, Morrison. <laughs> oh, Jim Morrison. <laughs> I am the walrus. I am the fifth beetle. I you have successfully I? distracted cuddle paws. <laughs> um, she is blazing her mind out in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Righteous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, eventually my costume will drop. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, Didn't goes, know that much catnip. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, it's I? just me. I just a little something to help me get on this train. That 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 that. What? If anyone comes to talk to us, we're helping you. Yeah. So is, is there enough room in the John for all three of them in case somebody comes by? We're supposed uh, to be here. Why would that be a problem? You already took off your uniform, genius. Hey, no, no, you don't. Elda, what race are you? Real fast. No, I looked, I actually shortened oh, myself. Yeah. It made myself look like a gnome, which you can, because you can do that. I mean, it's not that different than Size wise, not that different than a dwarf. By the way, by the mm -hmm. way, DMs notice Frank here. He remembered that there's a John in every single train car. Yep. Mm -hmm. right I'm sorry. Wait, yeah. hold on. I said chink earlier. It's actually a. Oh, you said it twice, twice actually. But did I? <laughs> uh, but yeah, there is that, and you hear the whistle blowing. Time for the gnomes to leave. You guys never checked in though, so. They might not notice if you stay. If you guys want to hide in here, I can probably use my vast deception techniques to say, uh, these are my friends slaves. of mine. <laughs> yeah. Your entourage. These are associates. I mean, you're not going to be able to guard this car for the next, I don't know how many hours. I mean, you have to rest at some point. Yeah, we'll... Uh... <laughs> on for that yeah we will be your entourage if anyone asks that works I'll, I'll change back out of the uniform i'll do my hair differently <laughs> Just okay. <a> different. <laughs> are you hanging out in the train car overnight or are you going to leave with them because the gnomes are starting to call out their lovely lady bird and say that you know we gotta go can't be over here overnight we have to go. Oh, are you sure about that? 
are you sure I can't stay the night? I'm awfully tired from your fantastic lovemaking skill, and I just <laughs> need some time to rest. You've you've proven that size does not matter. You Rip. have impressed me. <laughs> uh, Roll it. it. Uh, Roll it, Frank. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Oh, seven no. plus seven for deceptions of fourteen. <laughs> I was gonna say persuasion, but all right. Persuasion uh, is uh, also a seven. Oh, okay. Well, so, then no. Yeah, I, I have very high, because I'm charismatic. I'm able to I'm able to talk and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got that speech thing down. Sure. They explain to you. Can't be her overnight. It's just the war forged at night. But again, you can stay with me, and I'll, me and the boys, we will see you off tomorrow Great. morning. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they look over at Orla and Helda and say, "Yeah, right, guys." Well, we were we'll see her off in the morning. We were Wink. told that we were supposed to guard this this car overnight. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Give deceptions at advantage since the lady love is uh oh, wow. yeah. uh oh, 14 God. and a three, so dirty twenty-one. Wait, You're wait. out of this cuddle pause, I'm sorry. Hold up. Not twenty. All right, Orla. Twenty-one. Uh let's see, deception eighteen. That's fine. It's more for me and Cuddle Paws tonight. And he grabs you by the paw, Cuddle Paws, and walks you out. And you and two are now stay? in the car. And we get to stay? I tell them that I'm feeling pregnant. What? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Am I in the car? No, they're walking you out. Yeah, I'm going to tell them I'm knocked up. Be. I'm knocked up. I'm feeling Yeah. <laughs> that roll from earlier, Frank, you're, you're knocked up? This is Already. wonderful. I've always wanted to start a family. A whole litter. Are you sure well, you should even go on this train ride with? As soon as I get back, you and I are getting hitched, my friend, my lover, my <laughs> all. Oh my god. And you guys leave or La Helda, you're on the train at the moment. Car doors start locking down. We'll assume you had the gear you had, but you may not have food with you at the moment. Um, cuddle paws, you are taken to a bar and told no drinks for her. She's carrying my litter. <laughs> and the gnome starts fighting. No, no, no. That's my litter. You can tell because she was with me more often. And I hey. melt into the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but luckily you're at the same bar as Bavarian. So in the morning, you're able to get back onto the train onto the theater troupe. Uh, Orla held us stealth checks because there's still more stuff to be loaded on. And I think the troupe would know if you're the issues. I'm throwing yes. that shit off as soon as this train takes off. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the deal here. Steal and destroy baggage. I'm throwing that shit off. <laughs> Throw it all out the window. Twelve. Right. Twelve. And Helda. Ah, uh, shit. What check was it? Sorry. Stealth. What? Stealth? Stealth. I'm going to oh. say you have all night to find a good hiding spot. So if you want to. The DC is fairly low on this. It's fine. No I advantage. Rolled 12 pass. I rolled a 21. Even better, Orla just stands there in the cat suits and you're just like, ah. shuffle one of them over. Yeah. And she's actually hidden. You go hide in the john. There you go. Watch out for my skin tags. I might have worn that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, we are at the morning. Welcome to the actual dungeon part. Holy shit, that was a lot longer. Memo to self, make it shorter next time. Hey, well, we, got, we, got at least, we got one of the parts done. So. Oh, I'm going to run to 11, so fuck you guys. I hope you're ready to stay up late. <laughs> Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. 
you guys are on board of the train. Train starts moving off. You manage to all get on board uh, without being found out or discovered. The gnomes are waving goodbye to you, cuddle paws, and just Aww. there goes my future family, my future family. And they start shoving and fighting each other, and the guards actually pay more attention to them than the errant cat and dwarf that are not actually supposed to be on that train car. <laughs> And you guys are welcome. <laughs> start taking off. Uh, help me throw some of this uh, shit out as soon as we clear the train station, because I've got yeah. an idea. Now we're in the theater car, right? The last car. Yeah, we're in the theater car. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are sure. traveling okay. through the city right now. There are waves of people who are looking up at this train. There's Katniss Everdeen. Okay, so here's my thought. What? Do the <laughs> windows <laughs> open? Well, there should be a, a door at the end because there should you be just doors. Just start like throwing it out so people well, looking up, it'll just be like items falling down. Like, oh, it's snowing. You just <laughs> free stuff, free shit, everybody. <laughs> yeah. My what? thought is once we get out of town, we start throwing shit out and then we demand to talk to Margot Lacroix and say, Half of our shit isn't loaded. We need an answer and then shove that asshole out. Sure. That's my thought. Not a bad idea. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Do we have oil? Because <laughs> if no, we have think- oil, let's put oil right by the door. So wait, do, we have, do we have to make him disappear permanently? Like, permanently. As, like as in we're going to not just throw him off the back of the train? We're going to throw him under. Six feet, yeah. Well, you got to make sure he's dead. He might survive a fall from that height. So 30 minutes go riding along the train. You are in the very last car. And at that 30 minutes, everything goes dark for a little while. Brightens back up and you have made it outside of the wall. Do you want to wait a little bit longer before you start chucking stuff? Or there's the wall. Start losing stuff. I give it about five minutes. Start throwing shit out the back. Fine. Yeah. You start working from the back to the front. Throwing but we props don't throw out. any of the costumes out. No <laughs> costumes. Okay. I, I was want about to say the you costumes. throw the costumes next. Nope. Keep the and costumes. I rip the door off completely from the back. Make a strength check. It is <laughs> a heavy iron door. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's say so. Seven. Oh yeah, no, that door goes flying off the hinges. It actually shatters into the guard wall. The whole wall around the city crumples around. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tee! <laughs> No, you start going to rip the door off and someone comes up and taps you on the soldier and opens the door and it swings it outward. (laughs) (laughs) Drunk dwarf problems. It's okay. Just so drunk. (laughs) So yeah, you turn around. More set pieces are in here. More costumes. And at the very front of the uh, uh, cargo space are couple hundred marionettes oh those you can are imagine the polar express oh. where that little boy yeah, goes into cool. that room there are some creepy marionettes there oh my god i would definitely i'm yeah. gonna start with those and if we're ch- starting to check things out the window i'm start with those make yeah. a wisdom saving throw oh god they are friggin cursed something. baby doll <laughs> yeah God damn it. Oh, hey, that's good, though. My dice don't hate me all the time. What was it? Wisdom? Yep. Uh, 21. You grab first one off. It is fucking creepy. And God, it just runs shivers down your spine. <laughs> this thing is Those so hard dead to... wooden eyes, and you take it and <laughs> twist the head on it and then throw it out the back. Oh, and yeah, I you are wish- free to start working your th- way through, but it's going to take quite a bit of time by yourself working through these marionettes. I'm going forward to 
the sleep way. car and try and find somebody who looks like a person in charge here. You can sure. sleep with them? Make a wisdom saving throw. Me or her. As you start, you, as you start working your way through the marionettes. Oh, God. Anybody goes through them. And you come screaming back out. Ah, 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 they're alive. They're alive. <laughs> and you can't go through this car. Oh, God. Help us. <laughs> That was the way to all the other cars. In right? fact, as Helda is working through and getting ready to throw out the next marionette, you lock yourself in the john. Actually, can't I grab more than one? They are marionettes. I would just kind of grab a bunch. Marionettes are not very big. Or are they life size? Oh, they're nice. large. Yeah, they're, they're big ones. Oh my god, that's uh, Does anyone <laughs> else want to try and break their way through the car? Or yeah, I do, help? yeah. Or love? Wisdom out. saving throw? Bavarian, wisdom saving throw? Come on, guys! <laughs> 18. <laughs> oh, shit. You start pushing your way. Are you pulling them out, or are you trying to go through them? I'm pushing them out of the way, going through. Okay. You start pushing your way through and they close in behind you. They're staring at you, and you swear one of them is grabbing onto your shoulder. Oh, that was me, sorry. <laughs> and that's when you realize it is actually Bavarian behind you grabbing onto your shoulder. You are, yeah, after 50. all, a gnome. And Bavarian, again, they swarm in around you, but you manage to reach through, and both of you are free to move about these fucking creepy marionettes. Okay, hey, can I go through the other, the next door to go into, that would be sleeper cars? I want to get car. back to the baggage. You go through, car in front of you is the soldier transport car. Hello, boys! I've got you, <laughs> you, my uniform on, mm -hmm. I'm all official. Good to see you, glad you made it. You know, official business and walk through. Sure. If you want to make that charisma deception check, because they look at you and I, I, was there some, someone in that back car? Uh, 19. Hmm. Yeah. No, 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 cares? No, no. Dude, look out the window. And they all stop paying attention to you and start looking out the window. Nice. Uh, Bavarian, are you following suit? Yep, I drunkenly follow behind her. They just assume I'm a drunk asshole. <laughs> Roll it. You are a dwarf, so uh, Roll a deception yeah. check with advantage. <laughs> You've got that drunken confidence. Yeah. Fuck exactly. you, I'm supposed to be here. I'm the dwarf in fucking charge of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um 13. They're distracted. You managed to get through following behind on Orla's coattails. <laughs> you bump into one of them and my breath just like reeks of alcohol. They're like, oh, this is an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and they just honestly they push you out of the car like, God, Jesus Christ, get him out of here. <laughs> All right, and back to Cuddle Paws and Helda. Helda, you are going to be in here for quite a while if you're going I to know, be taking I was hoping they off. might actually help, but um you know <laughs> nope. what? I, I have Thunder Wave if we want to really speed this process up, but it's going to create quite a problem. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Honestly, with Helda walking through the car, you might be a little bit too scared to try getting any closer to the marionettes to be effective. Is there toilet paper in this bathroom? No, there is not. Damn it. There is a stone of prestidigitation and the actual toilet bowl. Three seashells? <laughs> yeah. How Three seashell you know? trick? Yeah. 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 I DM. I know this shit. I got game. Thought I'd pull the wool over Frank's eyes. All right. <laughs> There's sheep here. <laughs> it's a sheep. special card. The sheep are the liars. The cat costumes, the cat hair is actually made from sheep. Because cat hair was too expensive. Unethical. 
<laughs> oh no, there's nothing about ethics when it comes to skinning cats and plucking <laughs> it out and drying their eyeballs. Oh, That's cold, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Gosh. I'll sit. I'll sit in the crapper. Josh should not watch watch this episode. Uh, fine, I'm gonna keep moving them. This really sucks, but I mean, I can't really think of anything I could do to make it go faster. Throw and them all in the I'm- trunk and throw the trunk out. I was say set it all on fire. I will say you guys are on a train. Yeah, the back door but- does open. We you can you walk on to top it. of the roof cars. Yeah, but we'll you said off. That's what I was you doing. Might. Sucking them out the back door. That is mm-hmm. open. So, I mean, I'm going to continue. I suppose if there's anything I could wheel a bunch on, I mean, I'll pull a bunch down and then wheel them out. And- so I just can't move forward. Can't move forward through this train car. I'll, I'll feline action and get back up on top. There you go. Go ahead and make me a strength check. Add advantage because you have the claws to do so. Uh, Nat 20 and a 6. You make it through. Nice. I'm going to go up to to the lounge car. Up to the lounge car? Okay. Drop down in between and go into the lounge car. Sure. Go ahead and roll me a D12 real fast. I might get you this time. Five. I got you this time. Eight. Yeah. You see one of those lightning poles coming, flying through. I drop down. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best choice. And woe and behold, uh, you are actually at the sleeper car uh, where yeah, the door the opens up behind you. And they're not even paying attention to you, but there is Orla and Bavarian Lacreem. Yes. <laughs> what happened to You're, the Elda, I, I assume that up. you know. <laughs> Would you like to catch up with them? Sure, I'll go through. Oh, Helda. Carol. I, I no, it's like, what happened to the plan? I guess the plan is out the window. Oh, I got scared shitless uh, <laughs> and vomited up skin tags. That's what happened to the fucking plan. <laughs> I start screaming for Margo. Where's Margo? I have a complaint. I need to speak with Margo. I am very insistent. I don't think it has anything to do with the train, but maybe. Yeah, sure. No. Uh, you see a Goliath. That's two what sleeper cars open up. Uh, one is a very large, burly uh, man with a big old beard uh, wearing clergy of Lathander. Santa? Other- <laughs> Yes, but that pot belly is solid muscle, man. You that's know. a that's a fuel tank for a love machine, right there. Yes, yeah, I'm it is. With that one, <laughs> um, another one opens up, and it's a lady. She gives you a crude look, looks you up and down, judging you. What are you looking at, lady? <laughs> and really closes care. the door. And in the final car, you see little curtain peek open and if you make a perception check 11 plus I think one no plus two 13 no <laughs> I yeah, totally open someone it. opens up that and y'all Margo is that you and there in front of you is a giant Goliath in Pinsnes. Oh my god, please. Whoever you are, just leave me alone. You need to come to the back with me. We have a serious problem. <laughs> no, I know you're working for him. I'm not going anywhere with you. Help! Help! Oh, shit. Hold person him. Okay. Margo. What is the DC save? Oh, that was I cocked. think it's 14. Uh, no, 15. 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah, no. He stops dead in the middle. Uh, Now that he's held, I believe, can I just slit his fucking throat and be done with it? (laughs) Mm. You guys want to do that. Can we get him back into his room first? 
so that he doesn't bleed all over the hallway. You guys went crashing into his room. Okay. Bring it out so we can there it. already. And whoever is actually in the back, you notice that uh, the big portly man is coming out and getting ready to walk into your room. What's going on here? Bavarian, kill this fucker. He's held. <laughs> I'm ready to murder people. I thought okay. you might be. <laughs> Roll um, initiative. To, to, to the guy in the doorway, excuse us, I'm going to try and close the door to lock it. I go into rage, right? Ah, I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry, what's going on? And swing at advantage and give me initiative, everybody. Okay. I, I guess I'll roll, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing. 13. Here. That's Thirteen. Fine. <clears throat> 10. Terrible. And all right. Caitlin? All right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm rolling to do to hit first or right? initiative first. Okay. Uh, nine. Nine. All right. Door shuts. It gets locked behind you. Portly man is on. By the light of Lathander, open up. And at which point, Margo is held currently. And if you want to go ahead and roll to hit him, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Fair Unless good. someone else wants to kill him before you, because I know everyone rolled I'll do higher it, than you. Uh, I'll let Bavarian kill asshole at the door. Okay, and I'm enraged at this point, right? So. Nine, 19. 19. He's a commoner, Goliath. He is dead on the floor. You do have to scale up there a little bit, but you get I'll it. I'll climb on his penis and stab him in the throat. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. And then use them as a scratching post. Sure. <laughs> you guys can kill <laughs> asshole behind me. He's still banging at the door. Orla, do you want to open it up and let him in? Um, I will. Open it up. I'll yell he accosted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will open it up. Oh, thank goodness you're here. He. I've been accosted. <laughs> I've been accosted. <laughs> <laughs> the manly voice comes out. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, I tried to fight off his penis, but it, I used it as a scratching post. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and just roll a die and tell me it's not a natural one. Uh, it's not, not a 20. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. He's like, oh my God, what's happening? And he comes walking in here. A uh, Bavarian, you are. Up. Bavarian, hit this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You can hit him now. I'm allowed to. You are. You're allowed to do whatever the hell you want. It's your turn in initiative. Okay. Oh my god. Maybe not. Mm. Seven. Oh my god! You're a horrible wow. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say this is a pretty hard encounter for you guys. And I did make it easier on you guys, but man, yeah, no, that doesn't hit. Uh, you do have a second attack at this point, though. And rage. Mm -hmm. Rage against the machine. I am enraged. Ah, we're throwing really, really fucking bad. Really? Nine? Ah, two more. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> and back at the top of initiative, cuddle boss. <laughs> I've already used my old person. Um, I mean, you can do it again. You're not concentrating on the dead person to make sure he's staying still, are you? No. I'm going to charm this fucker if I can. Sure. 15. Mm okay. And uh, charm is wisdom. Yep. There is blood on the floor. And I've been molested. Something is going on. <laughs> and he's just been attacked by a drunken dwarf. Uh, oh, yeah. She's drunk. Don't worry about her. Yeah. Orla, you're drunk at next. Drunk and enraged. 
Okay, so he is engaged. So mm -hmm. he knows something's going on too. So with my short sword, I'm going to try and stab him in the back. Sure. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Easily. See, Bavarian, that is how you hit people. <laughs> <laughs> when you're drunk, you just, you know, it just affects everything. 17 points of damage. Okay. Uh, he is still standing. Yeah. He's still standing. Anything else you'd like to do? Um... Actually, yes, I'm going to stab him again. Sure. But I don't get sneak attack this time. That's 15 and 6 is 21. <laughs> for four oh, you only get one sneak attack per turn. Yep, that's... Oh, are you adding them up for 21 total? No, my attack was 21. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that hits. I'll give you a hint. It... Roll above a 9. <laughs> and that was only four points of damage. Four points of damage. Okay. Yes. All right, Bavarian, we are up to you. Can this my sword... deaf, fat old bastard is just. Go ahead. Can now uh, my sword uh, give her bardic inspiration? Uh, yeah. I'll give her bardic inspiration then. Okay, we'll say you did that on your turn. You got to use it as a bonus action. Gotcha. What is your bardic inspiration right now? A D8? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Bavarian, you can add a D8 to your damage, attack, or saving throws. Okay. Just once, though. <laughs> if I can even hit him. That's what the D8 is for. All right. Well, Lisa rolled a 16 regular. Regular. Oh, my God. I can't even say the word. He's just that excited to be in a fight now. <laughs> and hitting him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, go ahead. Okay. Get in my belly, I'm the fat bastard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nine. Wait, do I add in the D8? Not to the damage, just to the roll, right? You can if you want to use that D8 for a damage roll. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, seven, eight. eight plus nine, 17. 17. 17. You got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, and you have one more attack if you want to make that. Sure. Why not? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a 22. That'll hit. All right. Barely. Uh, sorry, math. 14 damage. 14. Yep. All right. All right. It is now Duke Vincenzo's turn. And uh, this balding old man raises up his walking stick and casts a spell and I will need <laughs> uh, actually no we'll go ahead and roll for this one uh, since you cast the spell it'll go after uh, cuddle pause does a 19 hit you it does okay and he Should launches a guiding bolt up cast it at you. And you will take 10, 20, 26 points of radiant damage as he just launches from his club a ball of radiant light, and you are glowing now. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we are back up to you. Uh, I'm going to quaff as many of those potions as I possibly can. Okay. 
Or no, I can cure wounds myself. You can cure wounds yourself. I'll cure wounds myself. I like gang. <laughs> I am licking myself getting the last skin tag. But it's sticking, so it's just really elongated. Uh, uh, I can, can a cantrip be used as a bonus action? Uh, if it's a bonus action casting time, I don't think you yeah. would have any of those yet, though. Yeah, I don't think I do. Okay. Mm. So now I'm going to cure wounds myself. Okay. And uh, as a bonus action, you can also give someone else bardic inspiration if you wish. I could. You uh, could. I'll, give it to you. The, I'll give it to the dwarf again. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I feel the power. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know who invited her back. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh, Orla, you're up. You did. <laughs> okay, I am going to stab him again. He's not dead yet. <laughs> no. First, How's he looking? <laughs> first one's twenty-one. Mm, to hit. Yeah, to hit. Yep. I'm so, going to tell you right now. He has an AC of ten. He's just wearing his. Robes. Okay. So I hit both times because second die is a nineteen. Sure. So first is I was certainly a cocksucker with that spell. <laughs> 15, 16, 21 total damage. 21 total. All right. That is math. Ugh. All right. And finally, Bavarian, cream this sucker. Yes. Although you are not going to be able to do it this round. Uh, okay. So I'm enraged still. Ah! Not 20, I, come on. No, unfortunately not. Uh, da, 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 da. 16. That'll hit. Okay. Oh, and then I have the eight. Eight hits. It is 16 damage. Wait, sorry. 18 damage. 18 damage, okay. Yeah. Oh, not bad. All right. And your second attack, if you wish. I I think you should hit Cuddle Paul's, personally. No! <laughs> I didn't. You can't hit me yet. I haven't used my Vicious Mockery, which is <laughs> next. Oh, boy. You're going to like it. <laughs> 15. 15? We'll hit. Thirteen damage. Holy shit! So guys. much math. So much math. Dwarf does not like math. <laughs> <laughs> Says Bavarian, screaming at the sky, and Duke Vincenzo <laughs> looks confused, but knowing that <laughs> he needs to get rid of them, quickly taps you both on the head. And I need a charisma saving throw from the both of you. Who? Who? Orla and Bavarian. Damn it. Fifteen? For Orla? For Orla. For Orla. Shoot, why do I keep moving this? Fourteen for Bavarian. All right. The donut. You feel uh, as your soul is being pulled. No and Orla, you are perfectly fine. Uh, finding the absence of a soul, Bavarian, your whole entire body is sucked out and you are gone. <gasps> and we're up with Cuddle Paws. What Cuddle the Paws wipes the blood from her mouth, <laughs> looks at Duke Vincenzo the fat ass and says, I have heels bigger than your dick. DC 15 wisdom for my vicious mockery. Nice. That was good. 21. Fuck sucker. He's heard it all before. He's an old man. Yeah, that's true. Can he hear that if he's old? <laughs> Orla, you are up. I'll knock the dust oh, out of your God. pants there, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I kill him, damn it. Okay, both hit. 
Okay. Um, Wait, the first one first, just for the fun of it. Okay, so that Steal her is thunder. 11, 12, 13, Dead. 19 plus 3, so 22. 22. He is dead. Okay. And with that, uh, Bavarian. Wait, I'm still here. I thought I was gone. You find yourself on a plane of white, feeling train cars moving through you as you stand still. And do me a favor. Roll roll a d12 for me. Eight. Eight? Seven. You rematerialize for some odd reason, and you find yourself back in the troop car taking... Oh, I get it. One point of damage as you suddenly appear and the back of the train hits you and then you are propelled forward. Wait, so I'm not on the train? Oh, you're on the train. You oh, took okay. it in the caboose. You take one point of damage. Helda, hey, there's Bavarian again. They left you behind and who said I was almost clear. Who said I was actually still there? I'm waiting for you to finish the combat to tell you what I was going to do. Because I'm ignoring the combat. You're ignoring the combat. Yeah. Well, we are, we are two things. Hold like on, hold on, guys. Yeah. Let me check my messages. No, I. No, there's I, no messages. All right. I don't know. <laughs> so. I don't want this till after. Okay, held him. Now you got a message. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, there we go. <laughs> so I guess they wake up like, damn, how much did I drink? <laughs> I My had head. the weirdest <laughs> dream. Yeah. <laughs> Helda, there is a dwarf Thanks. behind you now. You two are now together. What would you like to do as you decide well, maybe you're done throwing Mary well, out? I decided I was done a bit ago, and I'm going for the baggage car. Um, okay. First of all, I, that baggage car is completely made of metal, right? Uh, all of these train cars appear to be made yeah. out of metal. <laughs> Probably won't burn. Steal the metal. Steal the metal. So this is why I wanted it was figuring out it's gonna wait, because this is gonna um basically it's gonna disguise self back into that gnome looking official. Mm-hmm. And I was gonna walk out and um I know I'm gonna go the bar, so I'm gonna filch myself a bottle of alcohol. Yes. I'm looking. We drink. Hold right. on! Yeah, that's not Real quick, doing. Helda, you see, or sorry, not Helda, a Bavarian, you see Helda turn into a gnome, go walking through the marionettes. Oh, Helda, yeah. you go through, there's the troop car in front of you. Yeah. Walking through. Yep. Guys are looking a little bit bored at this point, but they don't pay you any mind again. And yeah, because everybody's been walking through there anyway, so. Yeah, pretty much. They're starting to wonder just how many cars are actually supposed to be behind them at this point. <laughs> They're dumb. And I'm sure if Bavarian decides to join you. Of course I'm going to really join. Gonna be even weird. That will be weirder. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, they give a second look on that one. and I'm just gone. Twin just brother. Gonna... All right. Helda, Bavarian, you walk in. You are now in the uh, sleeper car. I ignore the sounds of battle and keep walking. Oh, oh no the sounds, sounds of battle. battle are done. There is the oh. woman who uh, <laughs> the three of you saw earlier. Are you killing everyone on the train or just that silly spy Margot again? Who's she talking to? That's who she's asking? Bavarian uh, and Helda. If you guys come walking <laughs> out, she'll ask you guys. I don't know what she's talking about. I just keep going. Kill that bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right Go for it. If you I'm want to. Talking. And maybe they'll cause a distraction. Sure. You'll walk forward <laughs> into the next train car. Yeah. Since you're all in one train car at the moment, I am going to stop. Orla, yeah. cuddle pause. You just murdered the Archduke Priest of Lathander. He has got some shiny rings on him. He's got a nice, interesting-looking uh, holy 
Kane. And then, of course, there is the dead Margot in his room clutching a briefcase. And, of course, if you look outside, there is Helda. Someone mutters something, and Helda continues to walk through. I'm going to... I don't look like Helda, by the way. I look like the gnome. I'm assuming Orla knows your disguise. I'll I'll take the briefcase, pull uh, eyeglass guy's pants down, and move the body of the fat duke into mounting <laughs> position while oh Orla God. takes all his shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm like <laughs> rummaging through everything. Sure. Um, you grab his rings in Margot's personal sleeper car. There is nothing else but this briefcase. If you open it up and decide to take a look at it, there are schematics for the Van Gelder uh, interest. Um, not Vandalay Industries? No, afraid not. Uh, airship. The designs on how it works and how that all works. It appears oh, more as a spy. Dick! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, got, I got an idea. Sure. Okay. We've got the engine room schematics, correct? Yeah. You do um, not. You have a after, generalized picture of it. After oh, a fashion. Okay. After a fashion, honestly, I'm not sure how else you're going to get a schematic at this point because Elda wasted it all. Missing. You wasted it all? She did. Is there any schematics in the briefcase of the engine room or just the, the stupid second, airship? You said that the second one came out all right. It had pictures of the elves. I don't know what kind of pictures. Oh my yeah. god. Not as cool as uh, Duke Fatass and the guy with spectacles. <laughs> I'm gonna scrawl that out and make an obscene etching. At and that, that point, and- the lady in the other sleeper car pokes her head in and just be like, oh, the Duke preferred them younger than that. Do you want to join Killing the everyone bitch? or. You're back in your fucking you robbing room. us. <laughs> Bavarian, kill that bitch. <laughs> she Certainly. goes back to her room. Yeah, that's you want to kill her. We can lock her in her room. Yeah, go, go tell her not to come out again. I um, how is the handles? Can I like stick something in front of it so she can't come out of her room? Sure. All right. You do that. She is locked in her room, but if you look through the window, she's just staring and looking at you as you do this, not making <laughs> any attempts to get out. I wink and walk away. Okay. <laughs> Helda. <laughs> The oh, Archduke's room, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have anything else cool in his room? By like- uh, there is a letter in his room uh, with a wax seal, um, oh, wax several seal. bottles of inks, um, various papers, and a set of full plate armor, nice gold and everything like that. Looks like it was fitted to him, and you lucked out on the fact that he wasn't wearing it and was relaxing. What does the letter say? You open it up, and it is a letter um, Blue scroll, from Blue scroll, Blue scroll. <laughs> Archduke's uppers, you would assume, um, explaining that the Archduke has sent out an inventory of diamonds for Revivify, diamonds for Ray's Dead, uh, Jewel encrusted bowls for um, Heroes Feast. And I have the rest of it written out somewhere, but essentially a lot of worthy stuff. But in that it is being transferred safely, but it doesn't appear to be in this room. Are there any markings? Does it indicate? Is it maybe the crate with VGI on it? Uh, no, the only thing that has that markings would again be the plans that Margo himself had. This just appears to be transferring very valuable stuff with one of their higher up priests to New Hall. Oh, wait, yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, Helda, you walk through, you exit the sleeper. And you are now in the lounge. It is early on in the um, uh, travel expenses, so you do see quite a few people 
enjoying themselves. There is a trolley being pushed uh, uh, by another gnome, although they are better dressed than you are currently. That's lovely. Um, and is handing out expensive bottles of drinks and cigars yes. to the people. Drinks. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to see when he's like kind of engaged, like handing mm -hmm. out. I can just grab one. Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll D12. Oh, a D12. All right. D12. And well, we're going to see what you randomly grab. It doesn't matter how good it is. I just need out. Penis. She randomly grabs a penis. <laughs> hmm? It's a three. That's a three. Oh, okay, I want rolled a two. Good size bottle. Oh. Yeah, you managed to grab a uh, a decanter of some sort of brown liquid, and keep making your way off. Yep. He's looking the other way, looks back at you, and then continues pouring drinks as one annoying Mildred Perry, who we have talked about, the gaudy woman, uh, starts. Excuse me, pour my drink a little faster. Up to here, please. Oh, right. And he is distracted. And you continue on your way through your car. Uh, Orla Cuddle Paul's Bavarian. You are still in the sleeper car. Would you like to continue forward? Yes. Pocketing the letter, the rings. I want the wax seal stamp. I'm like, ooh, metal. As soon as they get yeah. into the next car... I step over to the next car and I try and unhook it and say sayonara to the back three cars. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me that intelligence check there. See if you remember it. 17 and plus it zero. it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait, boys. Wait, was the bar Hi, in that you? one or no? No, you guys are in the bar. No. Oh, okay, good, good. Don't get rid of the bar. Mm -hmm. I would not do that to our dwarven companion. Ah. <laughs> All right. You guys find yourself in the lounge. There are a bunch of nobles, uh, a very harried looking uh, gnome at the drink trolley, handing mm. out cigars and pouring Harry more gnomes. drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that one. I deserve it. <laughs> I, I, I go with my earlier plan on cloud kill for these fucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm throwing that out to the group. Just okay. Say, we're killing um, the bartender? Don't, don't kill well, the guy that gives you the booze. We all know that. Before we do that, are there any of the passengers who look like they might be drunk or not notice that something is missing from their body? Uh, let's see. You know, we could always kill them and just steal their shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. True. true. <laughs> or we could play a drinking game with them. Hmm. Uh, there a little are gambling. <laughs> quite a few near the front of the car because they've been serviced. And near the back of the car, <laughs> they're just fill me up now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, you see Taryn halfway through we're about to make our way up to the next car. Uh, I was just reading Discord. Helda. Oh, you're on Discord? I was looking at Discord real quick, yeah. Helda is making her way through the front of the cart. Okay. Are you going to kill everyone and Helda? Please say yes. Don't freaking kill me. I'm going to push her towards the front. Let's, yeah, uh, I, let's, uh, let's go up front here. I have an I'm idea. I'm walking through. I'm going, man. I, I mean, I would think, you know... I'm ahead of you guys. I'm headed for the for the um, baggage car. Yeah, if Bavaria starts like slowing down, I'll pull her with us. <laughs> I um, pass through by the bar and like fill up my glass. Maybe stick my mouth under the like spout. <laughs> the tap. Chugging some beer. Yeah. <laughs> Just keg stand in that shit. Move <laughs> along. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. I try to get her. You get going. some. You are getting drunk. The gnome. <laughs> Excuse me. Where's your ticket, sir? I start like playing with his chest hair. <laughs> Throw me a charisma something. I don't care at this point. <laughs> Seduction. 
Oh, Chris, that's not my thing. What about persuasion? Hey, not bad. 17. Ooh. You do that and you're just, just patting you away and starts pushing the trolley away from you. <laughs> And of course, okay. someone down the hall that you've already passed. Excuse me, I need my glass refilled. Oh, I'm going to refill your glass, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get a, like a, what's it, like a tray thing, put some drinks on, bring it over as I'm drinking one. <laughs> put it down, spill it on her person and a little I'm bit. I'm going to cast shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and make Bavarian come with us. Like, there's more drinks time up to front. go. <laughs> like, grab my arm, drag me along. I'm, like, I'm gonna oh. try. <laughs> Cuddle paws while they're distracted with that. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. Oh my god, if, they, if they're gonna keep doing this, this is gonna be funny. 14 plus 2, 16. That little gnome, that little hairy, hairy chested gnome <laughs> is making their way to a call box in the back and it looks like he's trying to, to get some help from some terrible passengers he found in the car. I call him a shitty bartender. Vicious mockery. <laughs> okay. I take out some gold. Go ahead and roll the damage. The Three and four plus whatever. Seven plus... Sorry, I was on the stinking cloud spell because I'm, I'm going to kill everybody. Uh, 2d4, so I do 7 damage to him. Okay. As he's reaching for it, he just... You I are went to bartending up. school for 8 years. Was it <laughs> University of Phoenix? Oh, that would have been a good one. <laughs> Did you go to the University of Phoenix bartending school? Tears are just strolling down. Yeah. Oh, you're the fighting phoenixes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I push Bavaria. Let's go. <laughs> Damn near out of spells here. And you guys make it to the front of the car. Going on to the next one. Woof. Cloud kill that bit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, the, is it save or half? I think so. I was just on there, but I had to look at something else. Oh, gosh, come on. Why don't you know know your spells for once? I barely <laughs> read that shit. Uh, that's true, isn't it? Uh, wow, that's interesting. You create a 20-foot sphere, uh, radius sphere of yellow nauseating gas centered on point. Uh, it's heavily obscured. It doesn't say. Oh, on a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. Yeah. So it, cloud killer, cloud stinking killer. cloud, stinking That's cloud. Cloud, that cloud. Yeah, cloud kill. I think. Is yeah, I don't one. have cloud kill. I've got stinking cloud. Oh, okay. Each creature that is completely within the cloud at the start of its turn must make a Constitution save, saving throw against poison. If it fails, it spends that turn uh, puking. Otherwise. It's just gasping for air and pissed. <laughs> okay. And sure. then I'll... Eh, now, I, I don't want to release this because I know... A ton of the nobles start vomiting and retching. I put skin tags in all of your beverages. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Can we secure this door so that they can't move forward? How do you want to do that? Uh, I look at it to see if it can be secured. You can try. A two. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no fucking clue. No, yeah, you. if you close the door and then turn the handle this way, the door doesn't open again. You got it. Good job. Sure. We'll, we'll say that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I got it, guys. Keep going, keep going. Can take the fucking <laughs> picture. Uh, from the lounge car, you enter the diner car. Uh, at the moment, there is the actual bar. There is a gnome behind it. I told ya. There's and there bar. are two ah. four forged in little aprons there, and they start cleaning the table, but they all turn to look at you as you come walking in. Something oh. farted. 
<laughs> it wasn't me. What's I that? don't think. Who are you talking to? Me? Yes, just the uh, gnome <laughs> looks at be through there. I mean, with all the action going on, I'd just be through there and onto the baggage car. Okay. The gnome bartender tries to stop you. Just excuse me, you're not in the right uniform. Are you are you even are you a stowaway? I'm going to the servant's car and I just keep going. Servant's car is beyond the baggage car. That's his hands. Goes presses a little button. The rest of you guys, what are you guys doing? Hold on one second here. The servant's car is beyond it, so I don't know why that would be out of. Uh, well, the baggage car is next. That's right. Can we disconnect yes. these cars too? We can, no. but we're going to lose out on all the shit from the bar and the nobles. I'm going to blow up yes. this. Well, we made the nobles ride not pleasant and that's kind of what they said to do yeah we can unhook it so we'll do that, that. let's do that i didn't know if you guys wanted to get rich or not well just, baggage car has all the good stuff in it baggage oh, sure. car to not the baggage car is supposed to is about to have not a bunch of good stuff in it <laughs> so destroy it well yeah let's let's cross through the dining car and but unhook I am, them. I am ahead of you guys. Uh, you want to wait for us to get there? No. <laughs> okay. No. Well, no. you're on your own. <laughs> the fact that you guys all went ahead, so I'm fucking taking this in my own hands. Orla, but Bavarian, and I are going to be stuck in the car with yep. alcohol and a pissed off dwarf. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> we're going to be on the other side. You'll see what I mean in a minute. On the other side? Is that a oh. threat to kill us? <laughs> no, no, you'll be fine. I, I at least I remember that there was going to, there was a car in between the one you were cloud, or not cloud killing. I thought that's what you were going to do, and I'm like, oh, shit. And I was like, oh, no, they got the dining car. Okay, so they can get in there at least. Okay. You guys are in the dining car right now. We do have to speed things along. My wife got a flat tire. So, yeah, uh, I'm trying to get there. That's why I'm trying to do it because it's 10 It is. Yeah, sure. All right. If we you can. guys are interested, you are now in the baggage car. All right. Well, we're in the baggage I car. I said I should be in front of them enough that basically I take the alcohol, pour it over the baggage, and then just basically I've got tender. Yeah, I got a tender box, light it up, and go out the other, go out through to the servant's side. Are you, you can't doing this waste well enough ahead? Like that. Well, considering how much stuff was going on. They get on, stopped by. Okay. Uh, everybody. Carol, do me a favor. Roll. Roll I'm a not, d20. Not Roy. I'm not waiting. Oh, and goodness. everybody else, roll a d12 for me. Yeah, hey, if you there. think they were pissed at Ashley last night, wait till I find you. <laughs> that's Eight. only adding nothing to it right you're adding nothing to it all right so that's only a you're second. ahead of everybody else you get the bigger die yeah that's a and finally uh bavarian what was your role on the day 12 i'm sorry what 12 d12 a six okay you had an 11 helda no i said a seven. Oh, a seven and I had an eight. All right. Okay. Uh, they get bagged down. Uh, that would be Cuddle Paul's and Bavarian and the diner car because of the alcohol. The two war four waitresses, waiters, no, chink, waitresses are That's three. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said that so I knew how to correct myself. Are uh, very skilled with knives, it turns out. And when the First gnome came walking through up to the baggage cart. You guys got bogged down. Orla, you managed to get out and away fast enough that you find Helda with a bottle of alcohol pouring it over everything in the baggage car. A tear oh. falls down my face. So, 
<laughs> so I know we're supposed to destroy everything, but there's a box of diamonds here. Can we get that before you light things up? Box of diamonds will survive. The diamonds will not burn. No, they won't. But if we... <laughs> Sorry, hold on. But if on. we're hold still on. here... <laughs> no, just light the car, it won't burn. But how are we going to get them after? <laughs> All right, you've got about or you've got about six seconds to find them. Just kidding. All right, you okay, have okay. a cargo full of about twenty cargo boxes. Yeah, there is, like I said, a very large heavy vault. There are several more boxes with VGI on it. The other boxes don't really have quite as much in there. There is a manifest hanging, and baggage from the nobles right. bathroom I, that's it can i look at the oh, manifest super you know, quick i realize there's that much shit in there i go nope we don't have time for this did i notice the guy pushing the button on the call whatever the the bartender you looked really determined walking through so i assume you didn't <laughs> look back but I have a funny feeling it's we don't have time to i i mean regardless i don't think we have time to look through a zillion different boxes. Just get it done. <laughs> okay. Um, are you setting fire to the boxes? Screw this all. I kind of don't want to, but I, I, that, I just don't think. If we you want to rush through, because honestly, I don't think my wife knows how to change a tire. She didn't even know she had a spare tire. So what about it? What about AAA? She doesn't want to catch the coronavirus. <laughs> so I am going to be waking up two children. Oh no! One of them, two and a half. I'm so sorry, man. To go help mom change her car. <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry. No, no, it's fine. No, uh, honestly, I apologize for making the beginning way too long. No, it's it's good, but all right, but just just for the sake of time, and I get there was a box of diamonds, but I think. The contents of the car are going to burn, but the car is not going to burn. And and anything that else that won't burn will will survive this. And I think the box of diamonds, the diamonds will be just sitting out there if we burn everything else away. It'll actually yeah. be pretty hard to find those fucking things. You Did set go fire to the box. Away. You start walking over to the servant's quarter. Yeah. I'm you begin to over. hear a loud pitch scream. If you look behind you, the giant vault grows out teeth then becomes an amorphous bob and starts rolling forward but is eventually consumed in the fire <laughs> and I'm burns stuck with this place mm -hmm. uh, Bav uh Bavarian cuddle paws i'm sorry but the war forged and the guards that came over the top of the train <laughs> delay you to the point where after Helda and Orla go to the servant car, it burns. <coughs> and the explosives that were packed in the VGI box. Yeah, but all right, go so off. Metal, it is a metal. That's that was you know I did account for that sort of thing, thinking it's a metal body train that it probably could take quite a blow. Sure. You killed us all. Yeah. I'm going to come back from the dead and kill you twice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roll me one more d20, Helda, <laughs> and Orla, for the fun of it, since you're both sitting pretty in the servant's court. Oh, God damn it. No. Please. Bavarian, cuddle paws, roll a d12. And 12. 17. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh, no. Nine. Nine. Four. Four. <laughs> the dice hate me. The, the dice hate you, yeah. No, no, they don't. They're dice. <laughs> they really have feelings. I hate you now. Helda, <laughs> you lost. Welcome to Murder Hobo Week, right? The train <laughs> car blows up behind you. Hey, you destroyed <laughs> all that cargo. That was great. Um... Orla, you are perfectly fine sitting in the servants' quarters. Um, Sipping tea. 
See, I would have gone. All right, so I would have gone in the. I will say the- that you notice that unlike every single other car that you passed by, the John in this one was on a raised platform where you had to take a step. You look at it. Thieves tool check, please. Oh, I do have that. So what is it? What I haven't used tools. Um, you rolled too low, Helda. <laughs> You got blown up, sir. (laughs) You notice the lock, you pick it, you open up the lid, and there is everything of valuable that was happened to be listed on the uh, Duke's letter. Oh, Oh my God. Okay, take it all. And you go up front, sitting pretty. The back car explodes. (sighs) Puddle pause. In the explosion, you are thrust out of the train, <laughs> and we are going like at the bridge. Happening. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, at that point, could there have been like catnip around? So you're just really fucking stoned or something. <laughs> sure. Bavarian cuddle paws. You're flying through the air. Cuddle paws. You go through. This cloud of catnip. <laughs> and Bavarian, you're lucky. You're over a bridge and you splash into the river and you make it out okay, I assume, because you have strength and can swim. Cuddle pause. And I'm drunk. You know, when you're drunk, you have yeah, no, you float float easier. Float. That's how yeah. it works. <laughs> That's science. That is That's totally science. True. You also don't tense true. up when you like hit something. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> Out of pause, you go flying through the air. You fly through the catnip. Eyes go wide. And there in front of you is cat heaven and the pearly gates. George, and George, George. And you George, George, slam uh, uh, right through it. And you hit the wall on the other side of the river, killing yourself instantly, <laughs> but earning yourself a one-way ticket into cat heaven. He's got nine lives. To be fair, that's the first live. The next eight held a... I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the show again? Oh, yeah. I uh, it's like Murder of the Jungle. Thing. Yeah. Uh, in fact, oh, I am definitely know. renaming this. It is Murder on the Murder Hobo Express Murder Murder Kill All murder Your Teammates Express? Murder. <laughs> murder on the Hobo Express. All right. But with everyone, final thoughts. Obviously, I have some notes that I've taken and need to improve on. Frank, real fast. Go hit them up. Uh, I liked it. Uh, there were a lot of things to do. Uh, a lot of people. I'm a big people person. I mm. like that. Uh, <laughs> How else do you seduce them? That's right. Uh, <laughs> so I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Uh, Helda, I'm a gonna find you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Helda's dead, right? So you're not gonna find her. I'm gonna find you on the eighth plane of hell in Cana. I'm coming for your ass. That's my final thought. All right. Orla, real fast. <laughs> your final thoughts. This was a lot of fun. Um, I hold true to my statement that... I'm a terrible DM. No, if the group (laughs) works together, things could work out better. Um, And you're a terrible DM. (laughs) No. (laughs) You know what? At least least she's honest about it. Unlike that Heidi person, I've never played a game (laughs) with her before. And she's shitting all over me. Fuck that Heidi gal. You're, you're, I was going to say you're one of my favorite GMs, but no, <laughs> maybe not. Um, I still am though, right? But see, of course, not. right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no. No one, <laughs> no one does a combative DM like this. Which one? Oh, yeah, Dana or DJ, which one's your favorite? That's our, <laughs> that's our GMs around here, so. Well, since you're playing inside jokes, why don't you explain them some more and then give us your final thoughts, Carol? I don't need to explain. I just explained it. So um, it, it was, you know what? I like the fact that the beginning, I just, it's obviously just too long for a two hour show, but honestly. Yeah. The, I'm wondering, the, honestly, sorry to interrupt and talk over you again, Carol, if this would be a better, <laughs> a better con shot. And at that point yeah. you do something competitive, like, okay, who gets the most money out of the train and who completes the most goals. Yeah. I send you a prize afterwards and it's about four hours long and not two hours yeah. and 40 minutes. No, this would be a real, yeah, this would be a going for, or just don't even, 
or keep it as a teamwork thing. I, I honestly, my whole view of says the woman who blew me up. Well, <laughs> yeah. That. To be fair, she blew the train car in front of you up. Yeah, I wasn't. You actually, smashed and bludgeoned your head into pieces. I was. I so to be honest, first of all, um, as we was saying, I am a big proponent of teamwork in these things normally, and a mortar hobo kind of, you know. We kind of don't always work together, and backstabbing is sort of a normal part of this this particular podcast. But usually, one of the things I like about uh, a D and D game, however, is a lot of times it's cooperative. I do not like players that build characters that can do everything well, and then everyone just sits there bored. I think everyone should bring something to the table, and I like teamwork things better. Mm. Um, so. But, I mean, if you want to do this competitive, sure. But I think this still would be a great, just, if you might have to add a little more to it. But for the most part, this would be a great four-hour con shot. Um, and I, I, I enjoyed it, except for the other thing is, I will say this, I wish you went a little back and forth because it was. A little bit more, yeah. Yeah, I'm I was noticing that myself. Very boring. And the thing of it is, I, I mean, it's fun to listen to them fight, but. All right. I don't need to hear any terrible yeah, from uh, Carol. I'll I'm just talk to her later when she gives me those 8,000 emails explaining <laughs> everything I did wrong. <laughs> With that, uh, uh, Bavarian, uh, Caitlin, your final thoughts and say goodbye to the crowd soon. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this game definitely kind of or would do better as like a longer game, even if it's like multiple days, because there's mm -hmm. definitely a lot more content you could well you have and to go through oh god i had so much more content there were <laughs> like seven optional cars you could have gotten there was a circus this, car which yeah. i did have a name for actually <laughs> it was the ss circus um, yes. i don't remember what ss wow <laughs> the playability is pretty cool too yeah so like i think this is better than a, a not a one shot it has to be yeah 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 but, uh, it's I just cool. got so excited about the idea of a heist. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think with that, everybody, uh, Frank is going to say the final words because follow I never Follow us on remember. Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Okay. Take a look at our YouTube account. If you want to buy cool shit, it's down there, tinyurl.com. If you want on the show, let us know, please. And pray for Kyle because when his <laughs> wife finds out he kept going after the flat tire, <laughs> <laughs> those are the final thoughts you were thinking <laughs> yeah no that's that's perfect uh everybody uh wave at the camera i hope the producer's there to say goodbye otherwise frank has to run out of his chair real fast press a button oh thank you she's not watching the walking dead 